Right, oh, good day everyone, welcome back to another live watch along on the channel. Oh, we've got a beauty tonight. Saturday night footy, Port Adelaide versus Melbourne. Now, how about this matchup last year? In fact, I actually streamed this game last year. It was round 10. Uh, Connor Rosie kicked the winner. Zach Butters had the game of his life. Oh, that was an absolute beauty um, of a stream back then last year. So hopefully a bit of a repeat um, heading into this game. That'd be absolutely lovely. Uh, but yeah, two teams in good form. Uh, Port, though, probably a bit a side hard to gauge, given they've played West Coast and um, just had an absolute mind blank. Who did they even play last week? Um, Richmond, that's right. Um, but they look pretty professional in their win against the Tigers, like Richmond. You know, I don't think they're an easy pushover. And um, just their delivery inside 50 was very good. Um, and just I think their field kicking has been a huge strength. So can they pick apart Melbourne tonight, who are... A very good defensive side, and yeah, as for the D's, apart from their ordinary um, game against the Swans, you know, their ball movement was looking good, their midfield is starting to get on top now, um, inside 50, the cohesion's really working, so yeah, you'd think two early heavyweights go at it tonight, who gets up, uh, but Todd Marshall, 100 games for him, so that's a bit of a milestone for for, uh, for the key forward, um, he's had a good start to the year. Been accurate in front of goals. One of the most accurate goal kickers from 2022, Toddy Marshall. Uh, but hopefully everybody's going well. Hopefully everyone's weekend's going well so far too. Um, keen for this game tonight. Power surge coming up, says Heck. Yeah, it could be on the cards. Um, I've gone port with this with this game just because of the home field advantage. But yeah, I still think Melbourne um, could definitely get up here. And they usually play Adelaide Oval quite well. They smacked them back in 2022, so we'll see. Go Power, says Dominic. Uh, yeah, good, thanks, Pill. Hopefully going well yourself and unbranded. And um, Lockie, too. Can't believe St. Kilda Choke. Oh, unbelievable. I've gotten I've gotten another tip wrong. Um, so that's what, two out of four so far this week. I'm um, also getting the Brisbane tip wrong. But, geez, I mean, you can look at it both two ways. The Saints, how they choked, that was terrible. Um, you know, their kicking just totally dropped off and their ball skills and they just ran out of gas. Uh, but Essendon's effort was really good as the game wore on. Uh, their intent was great. They won a lot of clearance. They got it forward. And they had their winners inside 50, like Stringer kicking that kicking that winner. You just knew Stringer was going to kick that set shot. And Yeah, I tell you what, uh, poor Cardi, eh? he, he's going to be uh, down in the dumps tonight, you'd think. Um, yeah, it's been good, thanks, Theo. Hopefully yours has been good too, mate. Port by 40. Oh, jeez, that's a big tip. Heck. I think uh, you've got to give Melbourne a bit of respect. But yeah, strength from both sides, for sure, from their first few games. But, you know, this is probably Port's first difficult opponent, so keen to see how they go. It's all Cardi on the TV. Oh, he wouldn't have been happy. Assuming he sat with the cheer squad. Uh, hopefully going well, Boston. Finally did what, my friend? Uh, good, intense game for the Bombers and Saints. Yeah, it definitely was. Um... But, you know, I, I did give Essendon their flowers after their game against us last week. I thought their effort was really good. Um, I just felt our, you know, our ball skills and our fitness really outdid them, um, which is a strength. Like, we didn't, as a Swan supporter, we didn't see that last year. So, I mean, to see how Essendon played there and get the win, I think, you know, I think you want to credit our win last week as a, as a pretty decent one, as a... Rampaging side like Essendon, so they're they're two and one now. The bomb. Oh no, sorry, they're yeah no two and one. Whilst the Saints dropped to two and one. Um, so yeah, log jams are starting to create a bit on the ladder. Essendon edge. Yeah, I mean I tell you what, the start of the game wasn't looking great. Um, we're looking really sloppy, but it, it was an odd one. Like the Saints just missed chances, and they just, you know, they just they they just kept on knocking on the door. They kept they, they let them let them in the game still. And how about Nick Martin? He had like 45 touches or something. Now he had, he had 44 touches, 8 marks. Could have kicked that goal. He hit the post too. Unbelievable game from him. That was crazy. So, not the record, but geez, he was on track for it. I think he had like 29 touches at half time or something. Um, I mean, he, his role at half back is disgusting. Like, he basically, when they move the ball out of the back half, he's constantly getting the ball. He's constantly getting marks. He's constantly getting kicks. Uh, but I tell you, it was good. It, it was good today, for sure. Um, but you think maybe down the line, someone, a team would maybe put a forward target on him, for example. 
plays well on everybody. Oh, yeah, Valiant. I, I kept, obviously, I kept him in fantasy, but I traded him out in super coach. Oh, dear. But it's about the long term when you think about it. I don't think Martin will play like that every week because his kicking's ordinary. He's a different tail than super coach. Um, and when you think about it, I mean, I, I got in Luke Ryan this week and he scored like 130. And his game was just average. Like, he didn't play that great. Oh, well, he played good, but. You know what I mean? Like a good look, Ryan game, he goes, he really goes off, but he's just that good of a player of getting points. So I got him this week, and I also got in Tom Powell. He scored like a 19 super coach, so my outs hurt me. I also had a young, I tried out too. <laughs> he went off, so shafted a bit in the super coach, but you know, the players that are brought in, I think, um, you know, we be better in the long run. That's a good way to think about it. Um, equal best Nissan's history. Wow, there you go. Yeah, I knew it would be surely a record of some sort. Um, and there you go, most as a, as a bomber. Uh, how's it round three? My team's sons already have the buy. Oh, yeah, the the opening round, of course. Um, Swannies don't have their buy till next... No, week after. We have West Coast to in gather round next week. Still really... Yeah, still a really odd concept, I have to say, though. Thomas said, what can do says Cummins. Yeah, it's a big test. I mean... Oh, oh, it's it's a bit harsh to say soft kill games. But you could probably say West Coast, but Richmond I thought was a good win. Backs against the wall, um, but this is like a proper quality side who's also in form. Like Melbourne look pretty look pretty schmick at the moment. Um, and then obviously a question of the stream bottom right on your screens: which midfield's better? Now you're probably saying Melbourne, obviously, but oh, I'll tell you what: the potential of that Port Adelaide midfield in the next few years. Or you could say at the moment it is absolutely top class with Butters and Rosie. They're without Orn Francis, but Ollie Wines, his body's looking good, so he's going to be getting plenty of the footy tonight, you'd think. Uh, now Ivan Soldo as a Ruckman add into the mix. And Willem Drew's had a really good start to the season as well, so yeah, it's an interesting thought. Would you prefer, you know, the midfield in its prime of Melbourne, or, geez, Port Adelaide's future as a midfield group does look good? G'day, random guy, hopefully going well, mate. Oh, you betcha, mate. Nothing better. Nothing better. Especially good quality one, hopefully, on on, um, on show tonight. By the round that I've done, um, the buy round that I've done is silly mess up the ladder. Yeah, it, you know, there's obviously questions on, you know, does it give team uh, teams early momentum and, you know, a bit of a skew and possibly a bit of a di disadvantage for the teams that uh, don't have the buy early because they didn't play a game early in the season. Oh, an opening round, I should say. Okay, L, uh, LZRS. Uh, tip the D's to get up today. Pilsy tip port. Yeah, I mean, I was wanting... I was actually going to tip Melbourne, but just no Stephen May. It makes me question because I tell you what, Port Inside 50 have looked good. So, you know, without Stephen May crushing contests, which he does so well, it's a chance for Port to maybe expose that area. But um, as expected, we'll have a look at the team list now. As I'll load them up. Uh, Adam Tomlinson comes back into the side. Um, oh, no, sorry, Tom McDonald's in. No, sorry. Um, I thought I was assuming he would come back in. Uh, no, so Pe Petty looks like he's lined up in defence, but Tom McDonald is actually going to play defence instead of Tomlinson, so that's interesting. Um, obviously, McDonald known as a bit of a swing man. So, yeah, McDonald, Lever will line up. Uh, Petty probably back there as well. Uh... And then, yeah, as for Port Adelaide, I mean, their defence has looked quite decent too. Like, Zerk Thatcher's had a really good start of the year. He was fantastic on Lynch. And Zerk Thatcher's also an interesting one because when he came to Port, we're all expecting him to be the third man up. But he's been playing on the on the best key forward each week. So I tell you what, Zerk Thatcher looking good. And that's the versatility you want to see in him. Because, um, you know, it allows, allows like a Lee Lee to sort of um, float free a wee bit. Hey, so, game should be starting very soon. Yeah, put out at home, I think we'll get it done, but here we go. Really like uh, what Radagalia has brought to our structure. Yeah, he's been good in the air too. He's taken some nice intercepts. I just think ultimately, Zerk Thatcher and Radagalia was always going to like instantly improve that defense because, yeah, Tom Jonas, bloody hell, he, he had some ordinary games. I mean, Trent McKenzie, I think, is injured. Clara Herd's moved out of key defence, so... Yeah. Hopefully going well, though, for a legend. Yeah, crazy stuff, eh? 
I mean, the Saints absolutely bottled it. Um, they threw it away with the chances they had, but they just ran out of guts, and some of their foot skills were terrible. Uh, but Essendon just wanted it more. Yeah, they, they certainly did. They really got on top around the footy, and Jack Stringer kicking the... You knew, you knew Jack Stringer was going to kick that. And I tell you what, AFL legend of Swans fans, we have copped it plenty of times from Stringer, um, like in 2022, when he kicked that inside out of banana torpedo combo I still don't know how he managed to kick cut. That was an insane goal. So, yeah, no, a really, really poor loss, though, for, for the Saints. Two ways to think about it. It was obviously great effort from Essendon, but, I mean, the Saints probably should have been up by more at quarter time and half time with the chances they had. Anyway, I think Jack Vaughan won the toss. So, yet to hit um, pitch black over there in Adelaide. It's half an hour behind from here, too. So, yeah, obviously, we'll get dark as the game gets on. And out come the Scarves. Never tear us apart. The first port streamer doing this year too, so... Got my swan scarf there. Could join in, but... Now nah, I can't be bothered to grab it. It's actually pinned into the wall. One of those little pins that you can poke in. Now, well, here we go. Keen to see how this one goes tonight. I mean... You know, you're probably a little bit sceptical on port given the opponents have played. And, you know, if they were to lose convincingly and not play well, well... You know, spotlight goes on them whilst Melbourne, season bodies, you know, plenty of experience, very good home and away team. I think they're going to be a good chance tonight as well. G'day, Rolly, if they're going well, mate. Yeah, that would have been a cracker to watch as a neutral. Bloody hell, would have been plenty of noise. Um, outrage of Essendon supporters uh, uh, with, with, some, with some umpires and everything. Heard plenty of booing. Anyway... Here we go. So it's fifth versus sixth early in the season. Both these teams looking good for this year, you'd think. Run away in Adelaide as Zach Bunders will get the first clearance. Hands to Rosie in. Board to Drew. He whacks it forward inside. 50. Bobbling ball. Who's there first? So yeah, no Stephen May could be an issue. Burn Jones had a very good week last week and he kicks the first inside 20 seconds. Well, Burn Jones, I tell you what, he had a fantastic second half. I think he had like 11 disposals, 8 score involvements. Um, he was doing well, sort of that pressure half forward. And he's got the perm a bit this, this season. He, he has one of those 1980s, sort of 1970s, 1980s sort of haircut, hairstyles. There you go, what a start, wow. How come you had multiple stats on the side? Um, last year you had multiple stats on the side, but you only have one. Um... What kind of stats are we talking about? Yeah, like last year I had the, the team sheets. Um, yeah, the thing is, I've, I've last year I was experimenting with actually putting the player stats live. But it's 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 just too... It, it just... You know, I can't find a way to do it efficiently enough. Because you actually have to manually refresh it. And, you know, I don't have time to do that. Oh, we've got Jason Bennett on the commentary tonight. I haven't heard him yet this year. That's going to be a Fred Avani in the back. But, you know, it certainly isn't, uh, Marco, it certainly isn't out of uh, laziness. It's just, when I do my graphics, I always want to strike a balance of, is it worth putting on the stream? Um, and, you know, effort into them. Like, for example, the last five and next five games, I think are a handy graphic to have in the streams because, you know, people can come on, have a quick look. Um, whilst, you know, the team... Sh I remember doing the team lists early last year. It just took way too long. And you can just go on the AFL app and look at the team list. So, yeah, it's about putting what, what you think is relevant on the on the stream. Anyway, nice kick inside 50 there, sorry. Uh, ben Brown, Mark and half forward, inboard to Chandler. AK okay, Chandler's had a good start to the year too. Really good season last year. He's been pretty effective in front of goal. Can he get a response here for Melbourne? Nice left foot kick. Yeah, and that should come back and sneak home. That hits the woodwork. The angle got me there. A uh, cup of tea tonight, uh, gents, by the way. Earl Grey. Usually on the kombuchas, but something a bit more caffeine. Uh, I prefer. Dan Houston now out of the defensive 50. Tom McDonald drops the mark. Ball hits the deck. Charlie Dixon out to Willie Rioli. Back now to Travis Boak. Game 351, of course. Inboard to Rosie now. He'll whack it inside 50. Who's up here for the Ds? Oh, Lever, he's tapped that directly to Todd Marshall. McAtee in a bit of space. Snap around the corner. And sneaks it home. Good start for Port. The first two. There we are. Port Adelaide already kicked six more than what the Hawks did in the first two. <laughs> ah, yeah, bloody hell. I'll tell you what, um, Riley, mate. In a bit of strife at the moment, I have to say, as a Hawks supporter. 
Ugly to watch. I mean, midfield's getting demolished. Newcomb's had a very ordinary start to the season. And, I mean, so they have the talent, Hawthorne inside 50, but the cohesion's been terrible. Um, you know, players have been missing plenty of shots too, so... And to be fair, Melbourne's defence is always a top one. But yeah, they've been uh, ordinary early to start off here. The D's, um, I think that's really the second inside 50. Um, what I like. But Lever really got to mark that footy. He brought it to ground only as far as uh, Marshall gives it off. Jed McIntyre. That's the beauty about Port, though. They've got plenty of those role players that can make an impact. Obviously, Burn Jones, the first goal here, and now McIntyre. Coming a favourite as well for uh, for the Port fans, I'd say. Rosie gets a little clearance. That's only as far as Langdon. Now, here's Blake Howes. He's had a good start of the season. He's, um, obviously, his debut and opening round. Looking really good back there. All right, a bit of a whack kick there from Gorn. Houston now. Couldn't get control on that one. Umpire says, throw it in. Got to... Yeah, I mean, the big stage, the big game, you'd think uh, Hawthorne turn it up. I mean, 2022 was a close game, wasn't it? Or was it 2021? I know one of them was a close game, but last year was just an abolish. And that was Geelong's first win of the season too, so they needed to get that win. And that's when Curran kicked like seven goals or something and run, ran into the umpire. But yeah, no, I had Geelong in finals this year. I know I've had some awful predictions. I mean, I had Adelaide fourth this year. Bloody hell. But I could see the downside in them this year, um, but I was just heavily invested into their upside, but it's just no good at the moment. Anyway, Viney there, inside 50. Not a good kick. Zerk Thatcher in front and carries it over. Yeah, Jeremy and Fleagal, well, mate. Gigi's winning 2022. One by five? Well, yeah, that... It was early in the season, so you forgot. Obviously, Geelong were premiers in 2022. Like, early in the season, they weren't at the peak of their powers yet. So, yeah, I think you did nick that one. And that's when you got the big win against Port Adelaide, too. Um, so, yeah, I remember Hawthorne, yeah, they had a good start to the season in 2022. Port Adelaide winning by 11, says Pilsy. Sure are, my friend. Or is that your tip or starting there? Starting what the margin is at the moment. Nice from Soldo there out of the ruck. Now Butters can tuck this football. Who's he going to find? He's got plenty of time. On his left foot now, just a hack kick. Good work at our foot here for a Port Adelaide player, but Lever in front carries it over. <laughs> Only throw in here, half forward. Gorn brings it to the deck. And good effort there from Drew and Rosie. Gets the tackles in. We'll go again. Remember Big Chungus? Uh, yes, I do, Harry. No, oh, for a second I thought he was in the stream. He's still a member on the channel, so hopefully he's going well. What a what a champion, eh? He, he came on, gave away his whole pay packet, but he was a very generous person. Great chap. Hopefully he's going well. I, I still remember he was... Um, he worked like two jobs or something. Uh, that's a poor kick from Rosie, only as far as gone. Intercepted now by Farrell. Turnovers galore here early on. Inside 50. Well done from Petty. Playing defence tonight. Oh, fumbles here between the talls. Gorn taken in a strong McIntyre tackle. Oh, nice ball. Port have come to play early on here. Their intent has been very good. And lock it in their forward half. Good intercept there from Farrell. Gorn now. Ground level. Just whacks it out of there. And that kick could work for Chandler, but he's too short to take the mark. But he did well to recover. Now Melbourne could be on the out here. Petrarca just waits. Oh, jeez, he had uh, Miles Bergman chasing him. So uh, Dick at the hand pass out. Now Petrarca goes down the line. Nice short kick there for Chandler. Okay, Chandler now. Early touches, touches for him. Trent Rivers now. On inside 50, Ben Brown. Nothing given there. He's being held a bit. Yeah, it's a good start from them early on. Uh, Cummers. Okay, blood rule here. Jack Vaughan is going to 
Come off, get a bandage on him. Yeah, that was that was a great game too. Gather around last year, Harry. Big pups. Getting a, he got a few Jardy Gooses out the back that game last year, but no, he was great. He's had a good start to the season as well, as well Papley. He was really good in the opening round. Um, a bit more quieter in um, against the Pies, but man, he's loving the SCG at the moment. Grass hopefully going well, mate. Welcome. Gonna finish this whole kind of cider before the game's over at this rate. <laughs> you know, Saturday nights are for the boys, all for the alcohol. Fumbles galore here. And Howe's taken in a strong boat tackle. He's got to get rid of it. I think the ump is going to pin him. Oh, jeez. He gave, he gave House plenty of time there. I thought that was just going to be an easy hole in the ball decision then, given the time he had. Soldo hit out. Fumble. And now Petrarca. Very done. Uh, very well done to Neil Bull. And he goes towards the goal square. Who's there first? Sir? Thatcher rose it nicely. Kane Farrell now. Lovely left foot. And he goes... Ooh, who was that to? And I think that just stays in. A bit lucky there. Yeah, they did 2022. And then obviously Port got win last year. So, but then, but then last year in opening round they lost to Essendon and they were they were awful. So, yeah, they've been a little bit hot and cold, I'd say. Port winning the territory early on here. Boundary throw in. Nice hands from Oliver. Good intercept there from Boak. Jackson Mead now taking in a strong Chandler tackle. Didn't have prior. All up again. Yeah, good. Thanks, Ethan. Hopefully going well yourself, mate. And strong tackles there again. Ball. Just stoppage after stoppage at the moment. The first few minutes it was free-flowing, but... So, oh, that's class from Port fans. 10 minute mark, and they're giving a standing ovation because of Boakwe's number 10. How good's that? Crows Froze game last night. Oh, Cross, I tell you what, Riley, as I was almost about to fall asleep. Jeez, I mean, Adelaide are a complete mess at the moment. I mean, Freya, Freya were, just did the job, really. Their defense, I tell you what, Fremantle 2022 defense was their key, and they've been good early on with their defense. And they were good last night. Like Alex Pierce had one of his best games of his career, it felt like almost. Very good. Luke Ryan, good too, all those types. Anyway, chance for Port here. Good start. Good pressure there again from Port. They were able to strip Lever there, but that's a... Oh, what? That was inside? Christ, I thought that was easily out of bounds. I tell you what. Rarely... T I'll see that again. I thought that was just going to be... Oh, inboard here. Chance now, Jackson Mead. Hopefully going well, prom time. Oh, that's easily out. Are you kidding me? And he didn't even control the ball. Jeez, what is going on with these boundary umpires? Never like to whinge out the umpires, but bloody hell, that, that's just a stone wall out in the full. Yeah, I know, Camus. I'll tell you what, they've got to change it to a different colour. Maybe fluorescent or something so they can see them better. Jackson Mead now. Set shot. It's no good, but he will set it up at least. Maybe a chance for a crummer. Marty Hall brings over the line. Boundary throw in. Must be colorblind. Yeah, bloody hell. I'll tell you what, though. Like, when you look at it from an angle, like the, they're probably not painted that well. There's a few fades, fade outs, you know. They're not They're not fully... Don't look, at, don't look like it's up full opacity. Anyway, now, Willie Rowley, twisting and turning. We'll just set a high one up here. Who's under this one? Ball comes to the deck. Wins is there first. Good composure. Outboard now to the Western Australian. The Sangroper. Trent Rivers, good running carry here. Melbourne, through the middle of the ground. Sparrow, questionable hand pass, I'd have to say. But Petrarca, just too strong. Uh, would have break free of the chain. And now out across. Chance for Chandler. Some early touches for him so far. Cade now inside 50. Pickett, he's got to go here. Almost. Would have been a nice moment. And now Finlayson. In a bit of an unusual position. Out to Alira Lee. Drop the mark. Boak now. Good start from him. Jackson Mead in board to Burn Jones. A dribble, a kick towards the wing only as far as Lever. He fumbles. Pressure applied there from Marshall. And now a short kick. Oh, drop there. Drop there from Caleb Windsor. Farris Sealy plays Errol Gordon. 
Oh, mate, you betcha. I'll tell you what, I think a lot of opposition supporters would be in the same boat as yours, mate. Gotta love Errol. What's your thoughts on Mitchell? Yeah, I really like it, AFL legend. I mean, I actually, I don't know if you saw the article I get today, but apparently Sam Wicks has had a bit of a, a quarrel with some teammates. But then I saw the article, it said the rumours were false. So I really don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's just, you know... No, we, we, we don't know. But I tell you what, um, I thought that was fantastic administration by us, or by Longmire, whoever it was, to actually just say, okay, Wixie, mate, just take a time, take your time this week, all that, not not let him play. Because um, that stuff can, can definitely hurt, hurt the team on the field, all those relationship issues. But no, I think Wixie was all, was all good, probably just a bit of a... You know, he got a bit angry or something. Anyway, Willem Drew now fumbles here. Another inside 50 for, for, for Port. They've been controlling the territory game. Um, so, yeah, with Wicks here, um, I felt Mitchell was definitely a chance to debut because his game was good in the VFL last week. Um, playing on the ball, but he can also play outside too. And he's got a nice left boot. So, I really can't... It, I don't know. I feel like... Look, Corey Warren had some... Corey Warner batted well last week, but I felt... He didn't really necessarily play that good of a game to warrant a spot in the best 22. So it could honestly be one of the sub and Mitchell's in. But you'd think probably as the debutante, Mitchell will be the sub. Um, but you know how the subs are these days. Uh, it's not the many sub. You can actually do play for the most part. Anyway, ball to be one here. Everybody's fumbling. Chance now. Out of nothing. That kick was smothered. Petty now. Oh, good pressure for there. That's got to be holding the ball. Nothing given. Francis Evans. Goals. Does he? That swung out a bit. I think he's snuck it home. Yes, he has. Great start for Port. The first three on the board. They're on fire at the moment. Jeez, what's happened here? And the crowd looks like it's hit someone in the face. I don't know. And there we go. He almost chucked it over the fence. Glad to change your tip. Oh, very nice. Uh, last six clearances have gone Port Adelaide's way. Looking good in the mids early on. Soldo brings it to ground from the hit out. Slap forward there from Sparrow. Oh, nicely read there from Jackson Mead. And out towards the wing now. Miles Bergman can fly. Ball hits the deck. Recovers nicely. Hands it out to Evans. And now across to Ollie Wines. Snapping ball inside 50. will find the boundary. And that one will be carried over. The annoying thing is that the Crows aren't even playing to their strengths at the moment. They're anti-attacking team. Yeah, it's very odd. They were the most efficient forward line last year. And then they kicked four goals 10 or four goals 12 last week or whatever it was. So, yeah, they're completely just not showing their strengths or putting their strengths to the table. And I think Walker just, he's looked, he looks cooked almost, I'd say. That was the big issue for them. Like, if Walker wasn't going to provide the goods, who's going to stand up? Phil Thorpe, unfortunately, injured. In the preseason, he's out for a few months. So, you know, Fogarty hasn't really been able to step up to the plate. So, yeah, it's, it's one to think about. Game okay, ball kick here. That's not 15. Zerk Thatcher under the pump. Got to get rid of it. He does. But his nice quick hands. And now, chance here. Beautiful kick there from Lockie Jones. Drop from um, Dixon now drew a snapping ball. Got on the line there from Judd McVee. Gains a bit of space now. Goes out of the 50 towards the wing. Not the greatest kick is Dixon. Easy mark for him. Dixon sets it up. Good chance here for Soldo. Good mark. Against Van Royant. Sunset's nice. You know, it's a bit, pi bit picturesque, I'd say. Mm. 
Foggy hasn't been given the chance to the main forward, though. Oh, well, obviously, he's not going to be the main forward when Taylor Walker's in the team. But Chris Burgess has probably been their best key position player. Sneaks it home, I think. No, he misses. Couldn't see, really, because of the angle. And he's gone on the bench. He's had a good start. Yeah, definitely. It was always going to be a really good pickup for Rich, uh, for for Port because, you know, I I think in terms of like the future and probably who's honestly better, you could almost say Soldo is the better prospect than Nankervis. But Nank's the captain, um, you know. So, Richmond fans did want to keep him, and Richmond would have loved to have him stay at the club. But yeah, Port good pickup. Bloody hell, who's we getting this one out? It's just in and out, hot in the kitchen. Blake Howes now. Vision's not great. Jackson Meads had some nice moments early on here. There it is. He try and find. He centers it up. Nice short kick finds Ali Ali. They can look to whack it inside 50 here. They want to go short instead. Oh, Jones. Terrible drop there. Could be a possibly at the back. Pickett just goes with the spar. He had plenty of time there, but wasted that chance. Burton now. Head across to Radagalia. Dominating possession here. Port. And now Bergman. Okay, Brandon, hopefully going well, mate. Radagalia now. Out to Alir Alir. And we'll whack it down the line. Good contest there from Howells. And ball goes over. Yeah, I like Jason Bennett too. Um, no, Phil Legend. He, he's a good good caller of the game. Dan Roy, nice hit out. Oliver gets there first. Strong tackle there from Drew, but he got him without the footy. So free to Clary. He's playing with the glove tonight. Oliver now towards half forward. They can get up here. Ball trickles out the back for Bailey. Fritch doesn't need much time. And slots it beautifully. Melbourne on the board. Trickled out the back. Fritch there on the spot. Off a step it felt like almost. And the D's kicked the first. There you go. Just what the doctor ordered. Melbourne's first. Yeah, he has fallen off a bit, eh, um, BT? Yeah, people really don't like him at the moment just because he goes over the top and everything. But usually when I watch the Channel 7 games, most likely it's a stream. So I don't really hear much of the commentary. So, because, you know, I'm talking to chat and calling the game myself. So, yeah, just slipped out the back. Fritch there. Doesn't need much time. Up the going well, well, mate. Came for the game tomorrow for sure, my friend. Okay, Viney now wins it out of the centre. Another inside 50 here for Melbourne. Van Roy couldn't pick up the half volley. Sparrow tucking the footy well, but just got a soccer on that one. And insufficient intent. Even though it was a, it was, even though it was a skill error. I'd say. All right. Alir Alir now towards the wing. Marshall getting up. Oh, that's a strong mark. Very well done. Quick hands now to Kane Farrow, who's been great to watch earlier this season. He goes inside 50 to a one on one. Wines. Ooh, almost. Oh, he did well there. Wines winning the footy and pass. Not so great. Not possible. I've been thrown, I should say. Uh, yeah, for sure, Brendan, mate. I mean, I know that'd be disappointing, but did win the inside 50 count again last night. Or the night before, I should say, sorry. Um, so still upside on them, and they're still a talented team, but... And, you know, they haven't started as bad as this, but they do usually, in general, have slow starts to the season, so there's that to think about as well. Jack Viney wins another free. Wants to use Petrug here over the top. Drops it. 
Able to keep it in bounds. Such a such a hard play to tucker, of course. Wins are now inboard hand pass to Clary. Oh. Oh, okay. So, I don't know who it was, but somebody tugged Clayton Oliver's jersey. And it's a 50 meter penalty. Yeah. Oof. I have to see the replay again. Don't know who did it. Anyway, chance for Melbourne to get two in a row here. Looks like it must be part of the rule book then. Clayton Oliver, can he get on the board here for Melbourne? A gun footballer. Not much of a goal kicker, but when he gets the chance, he'll slot it home, and he does here. Two in a row for the Ds. Two goals, one to three goals, one. D starting to lift, around, uh, lift a bit around the footy too. Petrarca, get, and Petrarca finding Clary getting their hands on it. Five twelve to play till quarter time. Yeah, Soldo's moving a bit around in the ruck a bit, and Gorn just slaps out with ease in the end. Houston did well to corral his opponent, but his great attack on the footy, but unable to win it. Drew now can go towards half forward here. Sl play slip over winds did well. Oh, Todd Marshall, very well done. And he's going to go for goal here. Oh, no, he isn't. Who was he trying to find there? Easy intercept there for Tommy McDonald. Now out across, Harry Petty. That's a great kick on the corridor. Jack Viney, no, sorry, that's Sparrow. Who's at home here inside 50? Gorn's the target. Oh, yep, yeah, that's going to be Mark. Soldo came in late. Trying to get the spoil out. See if Gorn can convert. Oh, Gorn copped a nice one on the schnoz as well. Maxi Gorn now to put. Oh, sorry, the Titus scores here. Chance was three in a row. Gorn's kick. It's going to fade across and go for a point. So Melbourne now starting to move the footy a bit more freely. Um, starting to get a beat really around the footy too. Anyway, so Thatcher now down the line. Okay, Tom McDonald's free for in the back. Melbourne now starting to lock it a bit in the forward half. Now towards half forward. Here's Langdon. Front Rivers now. Towards a pack of plays. Ben Brown. Was he pushed out? And he is. Free to Ben Brown. Chance for the D's to hit the front. Port fans not happy. Yeah, 
And a bit of a block there from Elite. Chance now, Benny Brown. To put Melbourne in front, four, no, sorry, three and eight to goals, and he sure does. Melbourne up by a point. How about this turnaround? Three goal turnaround. Port first three, Demons next three. There you are. But yeah, no, that was a pr pretty clear block there, to be honest. Ollie well, Ali giving Ben Brown a bit of a bump. Put a bit of mail on it though, but it, it was there. No, Joyce, definitely going well. Off a go again in the middle. So Butters, Rosie, a bit quiet early on. Houston, good pressure applied, and now Willem Drew will whack it forward inside 50. He's been winning plenty of the footy though, Drew. Nice there from Rivers. Finlayson, dispossessed, and now Jack McVee whacks out of there. Not a good kick though, Lear will intercept this one. And now Radaglia. Not really many options short, so we'll elect to go long here. A high ball. Going under this one, trickles out the back, Finlayson. One on from Petty, ball still alive here for somebody. Nice hands from McEntee, Travis Boak trying to find some space. Oh, great tackle there from Viney. And is that going to be 50? Great stuff, Viney's having a good start to this game. Been getting in an under Jack Viney's. Now he goes towards the wing. Radical brings it to the deck. Windsor keeps it in. Neil Bullen gets it forward. Pickett and Lockie Jones. Jones did well one on one. Now Connor Rosie twisting, turning. Keeps the ball in. Jones now. Wacks it forward towards a contest. Howells good in the air, but dropped the mark. Burn Jones, not a good set of hands, but he gets it back here from Dixon. Gets it over the top into space. Oh, but holding too long there, so it's against Caleb Windsor. For a sec, I thought he's going to be pinned for incorrect disposal, but he clearly hand passed it. Oh, wow. Oh, Kenny's happy with that one. Will we see more Kenny cheerleading on the bench like last year's game? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Burn Jones, now we kick the first of the game. Can he put the pair back in front? Slight angle. Yeah, the kick does not look good off the boot. Doesn't even make the distance, but Dixon's marked it. He's just plucked it out of Tom McDonald's vicinity. And he's going to get a chance after the siren here. Dixon now. Goals. So Paul will head into the quarter time break with the lead. A narrow and a five, but yeah, this has been a back and forth early on. So Paul kicked the first three of the game. But Melbourne did very well to respond, kicking three and answer goals, and they're looking good in this game. So we'll have a look at the stats. Now, able to move it arc to arc quite freely, Melbourne, uh, whilst they were getting on top in that second portion of the first term. Still though, 13 inside 50s to 11 ports way. And also 13 to 9 clearances too. And Port also winning the contest possessions, but just able to move it end to end quite well, the Ds. And catch Port's defence out. 
So they're up by five points, four goals one to three goals two at quarter time. Um, it's been a pretty, yeah, it's been a pretty um, low disposal game, I might say. Plenty of stoppages. Petrarca has nine, leading all disposal getters. Um, five clearances for Willem Drew. He's had a really bright start to this game. He's been able to win a few centre clearances. Um, he's won three. How about that? Um, Jack Viney's been uh, great in the Melbourne midfield early on. Five tackles, five disposals, four clearances for him. Max Gorn looking good against Soldo. 16 hitouts for him, for him too and four touches. Um, intercept possessions, we'll have a look now. Uh, three for Jack Lever, two for Zerk Thatcher, McVee, McDonald, Jones in the lead. And four score involvements for Charlie Dixon. So getting that goal late and also he's been heavily involved. Um, Ports attack early on. Willem Drew leading the centre clearances with three, as I said earlier, and six contest possessions for the track. And three inside 50s for Drew. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say he's probably been their best midfielder. Because, uh, yeah, Rosie and Butters have had, I'd say, slow starts from just watching them purely in the first term. Um, yeah, uh, no, I don't, on the, on, no, I don't really, Brandon, to be honest. I thought you said other than AFL games, but you said other than AFL ones. No, not really. One um, of the main aspects you think Sydney need to do tomorrow to get the win? Um, don't get complacent. <laughs> For the love of God, please do not get complacent. Um, I know they've got Dusty and um, Grimes out, but, you know, Melbourne, uh, Richmond in front of a home crowd and at the G, they can play good footy. and They were quite decent against Port, so... Yeah, and, and also just really got to bring up ball movement because I think that's where it can really outdo uh, the Tigers. And pressure too. Pressure, when we have elite pressure, we are on song. So that as well. Turn the three for... Yeah, I did see that stat. Um, but, you know, the Ds have had a few calls out of there and also um, they've gotten a few highs. So, yeah, I think a lack of discipline as well from Port. But his slow start, yeah, but Butters and Rosie have been pretty ordinary. I mean, oh, well, to be honest, Rosie has six touches, so that's probably average for a first quarter. But then Butters only has three touches, one kick and two handballs. Uh, meanwhile, you know, Oliver, Petrarca, Viney are combining well throughout the bids. Let's try to understand the 50-meter penalty. Yeah, so was I, Brad, but apparently when you're holding it, when you're holding a, uh, a player's Guernsey, it's going to be a free kick in 50 metres. So, we have to look in, more into that, I'd say. But yeah, very low position game. And then when I look at the bottom here, Marty Hall, Christian Salem and Jack Billings have yet to have a touch. And obviously you exclude the subs of Boy Woden and Jace Burgoyne. But yeah, especially Salem too is important uh, in their defence in midfield. And he's not even had a touch. It's easy to get the Tigers um, versus Port of the G. You can get a ticket during the day. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't obviously a packed crowd. Um, obviously, Richmond aren't at the peak of their powers anymore, and it's first thing an uh, interstate side. Um, but he's getting tagged. No, I think he's just been quiet. Like, he's had a few attacks to the footy, but hasn't been able to win it. Okay, the PS definitely going well, mate. Uh, is that the Essendon game? Yeah. Crazy win. I'm... I've, I think you're a Essendon support. I think you said in last week's stream. Well, that might have been someone else, but yeah, crazy finish. Uh, string of the winner. You just knew he was going to kick it. Um, without being one side, I think Port have this in the bag. Yeah, the game opened up a bit after Port kicked the first three, though. Um, Melbourne able to move it well between the arcs. and Yeah, still in this game, I'd say. It's only five points, too. Yeah, there you go. Bloody oath, AV. Two and one now, the, the, the Dons. So, in fact, let's have a look at the ladder. Might as well just go live ladder. Because, if we have a look, what's their percentage, Essendon? 
Yes, yeah, so Essendon are in the eight, and the Saints are one and two. That's right. For a second, I thought they were two and one. Yeah, obviously, um, they had to win that though, St. Kilda. But yeah, it's, the Saints still have more possession than the Dons. Well, then the Essendon have Port Adelaide next week. But gather around. And the Saints have Richmond on Sunday. Okay. Well, second term, let's get underway. So, first three for the Port. Then the D's kick the next three. And now, Port kick the guy off the siren. So they're in the lead by five as Gorn gets the first clearance off the second term towards half forward. Viney starting at half forward. He goes inside 50. Chance at the back here. It's Tom Sparrow. Can he settle and kick an early one? He can. Back in front, Melbourne. Well, there you go. Port kick one inside the first 20 seconds. Now Melbourne kick one inside the first 20 seconds of the second quarter. It's only just started. After going well, Chunky. Um... Yeah, that's true, to be fair, Dominic. Yeah, that was quick. 17 seconds it was on the countdown clock. Yeah, you could see it coming, AFL legend, and the Saints just ran out of gas. And, I mean, they just... Their kicking inside 50 was really, really poor as well. They just panicked. I've, really, I've just felt like they panicked. They just lost their... Lost their poise, and... I mean, they... Well, how many points did they kick in the final quarter? I think it was an all-time howler of a um, of a last quarter from the Saints. They only kicked one goal one, whilst the Dons kicked two goals six. Ollie Wines now gets a clearance for the pair. That's a poor kick, Marty Hall. His first touch. Woohoo! As he had donuts in quarter one. So he now goes towards the next contest. Alea gets in front but drops the mark. Chandler now having his go. No one can win it here. Houston wraps his arms around Chandler. Ball trickles out. Drew having a good first quarter, of course. Now Houston in multiple minds here. A nice snapping kick to um, uh, Bergman. And now Port go inside 50. A petty good body work. Very well done there, there against Toddy Marshall. Now Petty. Oh, that's a risky kick. Who can win this one? Burton drops the mark. Billings now a chance to attack the footy. He's instantly tackled from Boak there. And ball up it is. Nice stuff there. Clayton Oliver. Beautiful hit out. That was from Gorn too. Towards half forward. Elia drops the mark, but... Well done there from Zerk Thatcher Able to back up. Farrell now. Good pressure there from Pickett. On Bosball. Gorn now racking up the hit outs only as far as Burton though. He gives the hands in ball. That's not a good hand pass for Butters. But good pressure there from Zaki Boy. They get it out here, Port, through Boak towards the corridor. No one at home. Nice tap there from Marty Hoare. And it could trickle out here for Chandler. Can he break the tackle? That's going to be a high tackle. Chandler's weight. Chandler now to Rivers. Low kick. Doesn't find Salem there. Boak, Drew. Rioli now. Dancing his way around. Who can he pick out as a target? Down the line he goes. Low kick. Burn Jones unable to get there. Now Oliver. Hands in board. But he's bang and probably this heat. But he just completely bounces off. And now Jack Billings. Way his first touch. Goes short to Gorn. Gorn now into space. That's a lovely kick. Finds Caleb Windsor. Good start here for the D's as they go. Find a tar target inside. 50. Lovely football there. Four and a half turnover and use it well. Nice kick there from Windsor and he finds the main man of Ed Langdon. Okay, so Chandler no good. So he was second best in that uh, in that collision when he uh, did get held when he did cop one high. 
And he's had a good start, Chandler, so oof, could be a bit of an out for the Ds if he's no good. But chance now for Langdon to get this one to seven points. Kicks on its way right down the line. Good stuff from Melbourne. Starting this second term well. I've got the first two of the second stanza. Sacking clickers as Viper. Oh, uh, yep. No, fair enough. I respect Port fans that definitely want Hinkley gone. Getting just cut open here by foot, especially. Um, Port are just second to the footy at the moment. Eight points it is. Oh, sorry, seven points it is. It's Oliver gets another clearance. Melbourne midfield also starting it on top. Good mark. There's uh, Pathacha. And now out across to uh, Radaglia. And now back to Alir. Low kick, Jackson Mead. Corridor they want to use here, but he's just bitten off a bit too much there as Petrarca. Intercepts in midfield. As now Petrarca goes towards half forward here for Neil Bullen, but that one goes over the line. Good start. Yeah, you can join in your tipping comp whenever you like, mate. Uh, but obviously you're not going to be up there if you didn't tip the first few rounds. Or well, it tips for you automatically, I think, though. Uh, but like if you create an account, obviously, um, yeah, start a bit too late. Every tip, every game counts. Hit out again from Gorn. He's been just massive in the air. Look at that. He almost grabs out of the ruck. And he applies the tackle. Very well done there from Big Maxi. Butters, nice pick up. He needs to get into this game. Now Wines. Next link in the chain. Oh, it's on the ball. Now Salem off the turnover. Cosy Pickett. How about that? Blink of an eye. Able to turn it over and find a target inside 50. Chance now for Kazai Pickett. To get this to a 13 point margin, the snap kick looks good. No, no, jeez. Oh, no. Oh no, Radigalia. What on earth was he doing? Oh, I gave a goal to Port. What on earth was he doing there? He's just got to punch that or take it overhead. Take it at. They always say, footy coaches, take it at the highest point. Oh, dearie me. That's a howler there from Radigalia. Well, you'll take that picket. Bit of a let off there. The snap kick did land short. Well, 13 points it is. That's like Max Gorn in the semi-final last year. Touches his own teammate's kick. Well, he'll want to bounce back after that one, Rats. Bloody hell. If you're a Port fan or a Port... Associate can't be giving away goals like that. Good call there from the umpire too, to be fair. Like he, he genuinely felt it was a goal. It was probably hard to see too. Uh, just check, uh, watch my latest tipping video. Um, oh, great tackle there from Petrarca. Uh, Ethan, and there you'll find it there in the description. Houston now gets it at the back of the stoppage and whacks it forward out into space. Dixon, they can have a go. No, sorry, that's uh, Finlayson. They can have a go at this one. Ball trickles over. Boundary throwing.
Skydo, an update on Kate Samma. Yeah, he's obviously got some issues with that leg. He's still down and getting that check with doctors, but Arquo Oden's So while Oden's warming up, so it looks like Chandler could be done. There's now chance here for Port inside 50. Not a good kick from Boak Lever. Very well done in the air. Out across here. There is Chandler on the bench. Maybe he's out. he is okay. Who knows? Good day, Tom. Hopefully going well, mate. Um, what is Butters doing? Yeah, Butters has been very ordinary. Port's midfield collectively is just getting eaten alive at the moment. Has beautiful marking give there from Petrarca. Centering ball inside 50. He's on a good one. Is now off the turnover. Here could come Port, but that's just again a poor pick, uh, poor kick. Viney could have gotten a free there. Now Jackson Mead out in the space at half forward here, but Tom McDonald get to this one first. Low kick from Petty. And I think that's going to be a mark. Yeah, it is very well done there from Trent Rivers. Down the line, Melbourne go. Getting all the ball at the moment. Petrarca fumbles. Meade's getting his hands on it, and Petrarca again. Good pressure there from Houston, but that's going to be a free. Got him high. So Petrarca now. Jeez, how many touches here is he at this term? He goes inside 50. Maybe someone out the back here. Drop mark there. Rosie, first to it. Hands. Uh, someone's legged here. It's a free to Rosie. Fourteen three three free kicks. Yeah, they've, they've been ill disciplined though. Has to be said. Um, Port giving away some silly frees too. Now a good movement here from Port Houston out across now to Finlayson. He can load up on the left and find a target at the back here. Nice kick to Toddy Marshall. So it's only 13 points. It feels like Port could pick down by more given how poor they've been in this second term. Toddy Marshall now. Oh, hit a high ball in the air. Gorn maybe under it. And it's carried over the line. I'd say most of the D's frees were there, definitely. But damn, where's the balance? So, yeah, no, you always question it. Because it does look a, quite a substantial differential, of course. Dixon in the rock. Chance maybe here for Port. Can they get something really, really quick kick? Sneaks it home. Just what the doctor ordered for Port. Get the goal from the stoppage. Good ruck work there in Willow Rowley. Sneaks one home. Any goal for Port Adelaide. Marching back to seven points. Seven points it is, so feels like I could be down by more, Port. Rosie, very well done. they got to get on top of the midfield here. Oh, but a fumble there from Rosie. No good. Petrarca breaks the tackle. Out to Chandler. He's back out in the field. Nice spore there from Zerk Thatcher. Ball hits the deck. Cozzy Pickett. Oh, he's dangerous in these spots. He snaps around the corner. Oh, it's just the wrong side of the post. Jeez, he can break a game open as easy as that. Cozzy Pickett. 30 now to kick it back into play. Nice contest there from Finlayson. 
Rosie, can he break the tackle? He can't, but he gives the hands out. Broke up again. Oh, geez, good stuff there from Marty Hoare. Oh, and he's got the one on the ribs too. As he gets the rest on the pine. Huh. I think he's just a bit winded. Oh, Falcon there from... Uh, that was a cheeky Falcon. Uh, anyway, Butters now. Nice hands in board. They, they could be on the out here. Porter's now. Lockie Jones. Good looking kick to half forward. McEntee. Oh, geez. Get him a compass. Couldn't read the drop zone. And we throw in again. the deck good contest suck butters now trying to find an option here hemmed in within the line oh it was a good low kick almost there but Tom McDonald good spoil Boundary throw in here, forward 50 stoppage for the pair. Gorn just grabs out of the ruck with ease. Only as far as Boak, he can wind up and find a centering ball. Could Marshall be on the end of this one? Spall was very nice from Lever, however. So, back to seven points it is. Rivers now. Short kick to Lever. Out towards the wing. Literally... Did well one-on-one -on -one as Houston now is able to mop up the mess. And hit a nice kick down the wing to Miles Bergman. Bergman now. We'll go out across. That's good vision to Boke. He's getting plenty of the footy this game. And on the lead for Burn Jones. No, sorry, that's Jed McIntyre. Going to be a pretty mighty kick here. On quite a bit of an angle from the boundary, almost. Three disposals, who can test possessions in the goal, but he sits it up here. McIntyre, not a good option. It's going to be 50. Finlayson, not good there. Couldn't hear the ump. Or ignored him, I don't know. Thoughts of Rosie getting the captaincy. Um... I'm not really a port supporter or an associate with port, so I can't really tell you, to be honest. Um, but he's young, yeah. Feels like the captaincy is a bit early from him, but he's a he's a true professional. Two All-Australians the last two years as well. Hey, Bert, that's a nice kick in the corridor. McEntee. Not a good kick there for the centre. Easy stuff there for Petty. Petty now plays on. Low flat kick towards the wings. Not a great one for his teammates. That's going to be high there, surely. Nothing given. Butters now. Oh, beautifully done. How about that spin move? Out across now to Jackson Mead. Port on the build here. Who can they find inside 50? It's a deep one-on-one -on -one here for Dixon. Almost takes the mark. He dropped it just at the latest point. That's going to be high. Lever taking in the tackle. A bit too high. And now Blake Howes. Out of the 50. Kick not great. Intercepted from Houston. Lovely kick of the football, Houston. Obviously a bit too far to score, but he can set it up at least. And he does so on the lead for Dixon. Just couldn't reach it. Ball still alive here. Burn Jones. Is that a high tackle? It is. Yep, it's going to be high. <laughs> Players can't hear the umps because the crowd keeps on booing. Oh, bloody hell. Burn Jones now, chance to kick his second. Can 
And Burn Jones convert here directly in front. They're put Port Adelaide down by a point, but he oh geez, I tell you what, swings at home. Gotta love that if you're a port supporter. Well, a few in a row now for the pair, and they're back within a point. Momentum swinging a bit, I'd say, between both sides. Jeez, the lighting display is pretty cool when Port kick a goal, like goes in and out. Take it from a South Australia resident. Port fans are the worst. Nothing ever and ever Port's, Port's fault. Yeah, it's understandable why a lot of people hate Port because, you know, the fans can get pretty lippy. But yeah, not getting much love from the umpires, of course. For sorry from my neighbours, I'm kind of one of the worst Port fans. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good on you. Uh, well done for your honesty, at least, Cummins, mate. <laughs> now, there, Rosie, very well done. How clean was that? Now, they can build its wines, and now it's Houston. Big right boot. Can he find a target? Dixon, maybe. Ball hits the neck. Burn Jones again? Surely not. All over the top here. Oh, but the bounce of the footies can be a curse sometimes, as it does not sit up for McEntee. But all square now. All tied up the scores. But honestly, have there not been so many dumb frisbee in front for sure? Yeah, Porter starting to get back on the build here. Nice kick from McAtee. Finds Petty on a short lead. Now and across to Marty Hall. Got to see him back in the back, back in the back on an AFL list at least. Um, played a few years ago, if I remember, and then I think he just had really bad amount of injuries, and he's gotten picked up through the preseason supplementary selection period. Got to love that name. Preseason select, preseason supplementary selection period. It's like seashells, seashells by the seashore, that kind of saying. Preseason supplementary selection period. Bloody hell. Oh, a bit of friendly fire there. Radical air cops a nasty one into Jones. I tell you what, when you look at Lockie Jones from a distance, he looks like he's a key position player because he's got plenty of bulk on him. And he can play on dual opponents. Don't get me wrong. Bang. Right into him. Free to Soldo. For holding free. Ivan now. Go across to Radigalia. And now to Lockie Jones. Kicks a nice one there for Kane Farrell. Lovely left boot, of course. Yeah, no, they're not, they're not 50 meter penalties anymore, those ones. If you do the fake hand pass, they're not going to pay it. But they did yesterday to Harry Sheasel, so it's it's weird. Radigalia now. On to the lead of Miles Bergman. Corridor kicks on here for him. Wines drops... It, but he's able to recover nicely. Good body work. Out across now to Burn Jones. Another inside 50. Langdon's hobbling out the back here for maybe a mark. Drop mark from Petty. Bull trickles out the back. Oh, surely an incorrect disposal there. Nothing given. Oh, and then a high contact. I tell you what, Langdon's a bit lucky there. It was a bit fumbly. And Marty Hall marks it. Jeez, Port faithful, not happy at the moment. Now Jack Billings, quiet game from him so far. Short kicks a nice one, Kay Chandler. Got to see Chandler back out on the deck. It looked like he was done with that uh, ankle concern or whatever it was. Because he had a very big first turn. Brown did well to bring it to ground. Petrarca now back out on the field. Good there from... Um, what's its face? Um, Houston to cause the intervener. Now off the turnover, Port go again towards the edge of 50. Got a tuck on the footy from Clary. Fumble there from Hall. Who can win this one? Bobbling around. Good pressure there from Rosie. And Barry throwing. Under five minutes to play until the half. But is clean hands. Dispossessed there it was Boak. Willem Drew now can whack a kick forward inside 50. Spearman of McVeigh, but unable to 
Make an attempt as now it trickles out the back here. Howls. Got to settle here. And a low flat kick, not really good for a teammate. Oh, drop mark there from Lucky Jones. Can't be dropping that. Soldo now for Butters. Starting to get his hands on it. Oh, now this is a high ball for Marshall, but great mark. No, sorry, that's Jackson Mead. I tell you what, now chance for Dan Houston. He's a big kick. And you know he's going to slot by home. Danny Houston, what a fine footballer he is in the Port Adelaide Football Club. are back in front. Where were you? Critical goal, though, for the pair. That's a strong mark. Very well done, though. That's Chucks and Mead's goal. Really strong stuff, one and one He was sitting there in the drop zone, and it was a really high kick from Butters, but did well overhead. Houston, great kick for goal. Yeah, he, surely, he sure is, Cameras. I thought his season last year was great. He deserved his All-Australian. But, geez, he would have been shafted if he didn't get it. Soldo now. Oh, fumbly hand pass. Wines now. Oh, great hands. How about that now? Houston again. Who can he find on the edge of 50? Chance now for Marshall. He's just got to have this one sit. Bit of a fumble. And we'll just carry it over. Soldo hit out, ball hits the deck, Drew, he's been important. In and under there was Petrarca, and now Salem gets his boot onto it down the line. Oh, Van Rooyen, good fly, Ben Brown reads it. Great pressure there from Drew, he's been good. And Petrarca applies the tackle on Houston. Ball up here, gone, gets the hit out. And beautiful stuff on the stoppage there from the Demons. Billings now. Good intercept there from Boak. Just gets the hands out. Now Burn Jones kick towards the wing. And he's going to, it's going to be push out there against Willie Rioli. Uncle called me and he was spewing the most vile venom of the umps. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. He's not loving it at the moment. Salem now towards half forward at the edge of 50. Good spoil there from Radiglia. Got to redeem himself after that blunder of a on the line moment he had. Still can't believe he didn't, uh, he didn't rush that through or at least take it at the highest point. And on there from Gorn, Petrarca now. Just gets the kick inside, 50. Radical air in a good spot. Good mark. And now Boke. Getting plenty of it on the wing. Back to, Rattel, Rat, back to Ratu Gulia. Rats now out in the space for Lockie Jones. Jeez, that's two drop marks for him now. And he's going to bomb a high one up towards the next contest. Soldo couldn't read the half volley. Slap forward there from Salem. Quick hands. How about that from Petrarca? That was clean. Ball hits the deck. Neil Bullen. Can he win this one? He did well. Viney now. Can he go? Beautiful composure on the left boot. And snaps it home beautifully. We're all square again. Great stuff off the turnover there from Melbourne. How about those hands from Petrarca? Just so clean. And they just kept on getting it forward and then bang, Viney, great composure. Beautifully done. And goals off it.
Yeah, Chase Jones has had a few blunders. Um, just a terrible turnover. I mean, he's at least kicking up to a contest, but... Bloody hell, how about that? Clean stuff there from the track. Back in the middle we go. And it's a free to the big Soldo there. Launches one inside 50. Moves up here. Lever in a very good spot to take the intercept. Oh, geez. Probably kick there. It doesn't really work for a teammate. Houston took first. He fumbles. Nice hands. Ollie Wines. Who can he find? A low kick. Couldn't hit Rosie. And now Dixon. Nice hand pass there. Now Soto can take his time and hit a nice target of Jackson Mead. Short leads on. Oh, good intercept from Neil Bullen. Mark there from Ralea Lee. He's got the corridor on here. Oh, geez. Couldn't hit up Butters quite nicely. And takes one high. That's a well one free. Minute to play here. Could Port maybe get a chance late? Short kick finds Houston. I don't think he has the leg for this one. He can find his targets here. Yeah, plenty of numbers in the T50, and Gorn somehow takes the mark out of all of it. Got in front. Big Maxi now out of the 50. Drop mark there from Sparrow. Alir taken without it. Good flick there from Langdon, and now... Ooh, almost worked there. Radical Air now. Could still be some time here for Port. Just going to whack one long. And high. Chance for the flies. Soldo brought it to ground. No one there. Neil Bullen. Willem Drew. And good tackle there from Petty. So six seconds. Probably time. Not enough time here for Port to get a chance late. Yeah, Neil Bullen's been good at, at playing that high half forward. Finn for sure. Six seconds. Don't think something could happen here unless a quick snap out of somewhere maybe. Dixon out. Now, yeah, poor hand pass. So we'll see. And there it is. So it's all square. At seven goals, three apiece. Uh, this one. Well, I think this is a, just your old fashioned sort of old fashioned sort of scrappy match. Um, it's starting to get real congested. Uh, congested. Um, you know, not really much end to end ball movement. A lot of stoppages and. Um, you know, no, no team's been able to really capitalise on their chances too much because it's just been going back and forth. Uh, so, yeah, seven goals, three for both teams. All square at the end. So, that second term. Four. So, it was a four goal, one, two, three goal, two quarter in favour of the Ds. And, yeah, all tied up. 45th. Oh, Assumptions coming there for uh, good game, good game. Yeah, for sure. Random go. Um, third quarter has just become the more important. Yes, that is very true. Can a team break open? Because Premiership quarter always important for um, you know trying to break free with. Because usually in the third term, um, you know, the scoring can really get going. The floodgates can open. Yeah, Norris AV, mate. Okay, so, um, you know, let's have a look at these stats. So, yeah, it's a really scrappy game. I know it's seven goals three, but it just it just feels like a bit of a you know, not 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 too not too efficient, not too clean. Like Port had their fair share of the inside fifties, won it the count in the end, but I think Melbourne's defence in the air has been quite good. Um, you know, Lever got involved quite a bit more, but wow, look at that, seventeen free kicks to eight. Um, yeah, wow. Well. And 27 hit outs to 10, so Gorn's been going, the way the, going well in the air. Even though I have to say, um, I feel like uh, Ivan Soldo's had some quite quite good moments um, around the ground, so he's been all right too. 
Uh, top four prediction. Uh, probably a bit too early, David, to be honest. Hopefully you're going well, mate. Um, I mean, the power rankings wise, it'd be, it'd be Sydney, GWS. Um, probably could sneak Fremantle in there. I mean, Melbourne, if they get up tonight, I'd put them in there. And also also Carlton, Carlton too. Because uh, they are uh, yet to lose. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, have a look at the disposals too. So, Travis Boak has been getting plenty of it on the wing. 17 touches, three clearances, two tackles. Uh, most likely not Brandon, mate. 70 units at possessions for Jay Cleaver, five for McDonald, four, oh no, sorry, three center clearances for Willem Drew, two contested marks for Dixon. He's shown some moments. But yeah, Petrarca had a really big second term. 11 contest possessions for him. 16 disposals. What's he on the score involvements? Sort of side. Three for him. And Jack Viney, Rosie, Houston, Dixon, and Burn Jones also have four at the half. And his possessions. Seven for Jake Lever. Five for McDonald. McDonald's shown some nice moments too. And then, yeah, Zerk Thatch has been all right. Lucky Jones had a few blunders late. Radical is starting to, yeah, really... Um, Play much better um, in in defence. I feel after that blunder he had on the line, like bloody hell. Don't even know who's playing next week for us AVPS. So I've got to look at the fixtures before I make my tips. Okay. So, um, yeah, might as well pass the time and do the usual stuff we like to do. Okay, um, so I'll do the daily footy grid as we always like to. So, what is it today? Um, oh, jeez. I tell you what, when we used to play this game, there were so many more, um, so many more like teams ones, but I decided to do this, like all the disposals and stats ones instead. Early tip for the Prem Marshal, you're looking at him right there. There you go, easy money in the punts. Now I'm joking, game responsibly, of course. Um. Uh, played in 2010's 40 touches, 40 plus disposals. Um, hmm. Good start there, the unicorn, Jake Lloyd. This is probably when um, Lloyd was in his prime too with getting touches. Okay. 20 plus contested possessions. There's Scott Thompson. 3%. Um, Jack Viney, teammate. Oh, this could be a decent option. Um, for really under the radar player. Colin Sylvia. Yeah, there he is one. That's not a bad shout there. Ooh, 1%. Obviously, rest in peace, of course. Uh, 10 tackles a game, 40 plus touches. Um, hopefully, going well, Thomas. 10 tackles and 40 touches a game. Bloody hell. Surely, now, the surely this isn't in like the same game. <laughs> um, it'd be, yeah, just separate games. Um. Possibly, um, but I doubt he's had 10 tackles in a game. Um, oh, Josh Kennedy. Yeah, 3%. Probably not too great. 10 tackles in a game and 20 contest possessions. Might go... 
I'm going to swallow. 3%. Thought well, that'd be a bit lower. 10 tackles and Jack Viney teammate. Um, when did Viney start playing? 2013. Um... I can't really think of one here. 10 plus tackles. Maybe, maybe Luke Dunstan. Oh, how about that? That's a good one. Luke Dunstan, a unicorn as well. Premiership player and 40 touches in a game. Um, oh, plenty of options here. Um, we'll go. Maybe someone like the 90s, perhaps. Greg William. Oh, no. Did he win a... Did he win a premiership for Carlton Williams? Don't know if he did. Um, he played for them later in his career, I think. Um, hmm. Maybe Swan. 3%. Twenty plus contest possessions, nineteen ninety nine onwards. Um, and a Premiership player. Um, we'll go Kane Corns. Oh no, he hasn't had all oh, Corns. He hasn't, hasn't had twenty touches. Maybe Chad Corns. There's unlimited guesses, so you can just keep on having a crack. Josh Carr. No, none for Carr there. What in the, what in the world? Um, Gavin Wanganing. Funny hell. They had true inside midfielders. Not thinking of many. I mean, Brett Kirk's an obvious one. 1999 onwards too. Okay, yeah, I did win the flag 1995 there. There you go. Hopefully Jimbo, mate, be nice. Hi yeah, I could do high or lower. Um, oh, I, look, I'll just go Brett Kirk, but oh, that's just be an obvious one. Yeah, 2%. And Jack Viney, teammate and a premiership player. Um... Um. Hmm. Anyone from that Bulldogs team move across? I'm trying to think. I don't. I want to try and not go with a Melbourne player. Someone that used to play for the Demons and might have moved across. Perhaps. Grundy isn't one. Just M Mitch Hannon. Mitch Hannon moved to the Bulldogs. Didn't move to the Demons. Um. Oh God, I, I really don't know. I'll just go. Just go Tomlinson. Wait, didn't Tomlinson? Okay, I thought he did. Um, go Hibbard. Yeah, 2%. Okay, well, there we go. It was 1937 in the end, so it could have been a bit better. Yeah, Luke Jackson could have been one. Uh, don't know if Jaden... No, Jaden Hunt wasn't in the team, I remember. Um, okay. How long we got left? Which I should say. No, it doesn't show the countdown here. Um, yeah, we'll do higher or lower. I remember playing this when it first came out. There we go. Alright, Peter Matero, Clive Waterhouse. Um, probably Waterhouse. 
don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Matera kicked. He wasn't. A, he, well, I don't think he was a forward. He was like on a, a midfield or a winger. Embley, obviously Richo. Seven mins. Yeah, okay. Uh, Betts didn't kick 800 goals. I mean, it was close. Nothing there, Jared McVeigh. Don't know, Tim Nodding. Okay. Mark Rashudo. I'll go. Yep, 292. Nine siders down. Oh, bloody oath, mate. Yeah, I missed him too, Tom. Oh, this is tough. Simon Black. Oh, I'll stay with Rashudo. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had a great grand final too. Um, I'll, I'll go with more. Oh, by three. How about that? And Bergwijn for sure kicked more. Goodsy, don't think he kicked 300. Oh, no. What am I, who am I kidding? 464. We'll take an eight though. Eight's not bad. Uh, Neats was a forward. We'll go Neats. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean the I mean the goal in the first term as well was sensational. Uh Hudson, I think. Yep. Uh Lindsay Thomas, don't think he kicked that many, but he, he kicked plenty though. Do not know who that guy is. Oh and we lost it by three. Bloody hell. Mitch Hahn and we'll go Don't know who Mitch Hahn is. Well, there we go. Good stuff. Zero. Scotty West or Hudson for sure. I think with these sort of games, like if you play it enough, you'll you'll know you'll sort of like muscle a bit of memory. Like um, you remember them. Didak don't think kicked that many at all. Yeah, two seventy still quite a bit. Two seventy four. Cummings or Didak, I'll stick with. No, oh, no, never mind. Jeez, four clubs Cummings played for. Chris Lewis Westhoff. I'll go with Westhoff. Very nice. McVeigh had 200 odd. We still remember. Nathan Burke. I'll go with Berkey. Yeah, I'm not sure just going with McVeigh. Not in the greatest form as of late in this. Um, phew, don't know. Rollings. I oh, know. will have more. Zero again. Don't know much of my history plays. Oh, I don't even know who Harry Villains is. 700. Barry Hall for sure. Love Kieran Jack too. Great left footer. Watson didn't kick. Obviously 746. Oh, and Mick Conlon, there you go. Two. Uh, Cummings. Sweet. Try and get, let's try and get a bit of a go. But try and get the ball rolling here. Yeah, they've been, they've been, they've certainly been blowing the whistle quite a big duck for sure. Um, oh, walk, ah, oh, bloody hell. Leon Davis and Hahn. We'll go with Leon. There we go. Um. Was he? I got Leon Davis. Oh, he kicked three. Yeah, I thought I thought he was. I thought he wasn't a forward. Stephen Hill. Well, they've always got to. I think the creators of the game has always got to put a dud in there of, of a person with three goals. Richie Douglas was so underrated back in the day. Oh, well, there you go. Archer wasn't a forward. Yeah, I'll go more. There we go. Titus kicked more. He kicked, yeah, almost a thousand. Poor Kelly, star, but been kicked close to a thousand goals. Rod Jamison, we'll go with him. Oh, 113, no good. Eight, though. Our tied best so far. So, Valence is a player to remember. 700 goals. Tony Lockett, of course. Oh, oh. Good old Ben King. 
bit, a bit early in his career. Uh, oh, was Mark Mark Harvey? I think was a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sh big mummy. We'll go Rutten. Ah, sh I should have gone Harvey. Coleman, for sure. Coleman, there we go. Nick Rewalt. All right, let's try and get a bit of a bit of a, uh, bit of a good good one here. Um, where are we going for time in this one? Still a bit of time. Uh, we'll go. Nice. Ben Graham surely kicked. Oh, what? Ben Graham only kicked one forty-five. No, he wasn't a forward. Oh, Scott Welsh. Good player back in the day, Darren Croswell, Eddie Betts. Tippett always used to cause us trouble when he played Carlton. Yeah, no, Tippett was serviceable for us for sure, but, geez, he had an awful 2016 grand final. Yeah, it was terrible. No oh, Waitman. Okay, up to four. Mark oh, McVay, I don't think he kicked too many. There we go. Okay, plays back in the huddles here. We'll... This will be our last one. Lance Whitnell. I don't think he could. Yeah, that much. 348 still, though. Oh, missed it by two. Well, seven's not bad. All right, we'll get back to now the game. Second half about to kick off. Yeah, probably one of our worst plays on the day, Tom. Okay, so back in the middle. So 45 all, it's been a eventful first term. It was, yeah, it was a bit of a, a scrappy one though, but the goals did come. Back and forth this game has been. So now we enter the second half. Who wins it out of the middle here? Ollie Wines, first possession at the Butters. Snapping ball's a nice one. Beautiful stuff. Willem Drew now can launch inside 50. Could we see another early goal here? Oh, Falcon there it was, I think, um, off Todd Marshall's head. Chance now for Rosie. Quick hands. Rioli. He goes back. Bergman, can he squeeze it home? He centers it up. Not a good kick. Easy stuff there for Lever. There's now... That's a good enough kick there from... I think that was Rivers out to Neil Bullen. Here he goes short to Windsor. Windsor now plays on. Low flat kick. Not a good one. Lockie Jones. And he gets the Bronx cheers because he's dropped like three. <laughs> now half forward. Here he goes two. Dixon in the air. Can't take the mark. He's been good in the air though. Nice hands. Clean stuff from Houston. Butters. Good vision. McEntee now. Can he find the goals? It's a deep kick. He's going to have to make Rioli get this one. Nice ball came from Howe. Langdon keeps his feet whilst Bergman doesn't. Now across to Chandler on the outer side. Gained some metres. Now on his left boot towards the wing. Not a good kick. And that's going to be free to Aaliyah Lee. Holding free. Aaliyah now. And just pump it long down the line. Oh, Dixon, beautiful stuff. Peels off, plays on, low kick. No, no good. Easy stuff for Lever. 
Labor is really starting to build into this game now. A few intercepts from the second term onwards as he goes with a flat, flow, flat, uh, a low flat kick, but Elia is there again for another intercept. And then goes short to Wines. Wines now just wants to whack it long. Oh, Bergman. Oh, almost. He dropped the mark. That's going to be high. And chance now to put the pair in front with this set shot. The only memory of Tippett is when he breached the salary cup. Nobody gave a shot. And I just, that's when uh, Adelaide fans weren't happy. Bergman now can put the pair in front with a potential goal here. Going to take a bit of a kick. Can he slot it in front of the Melbourne cheer squad? Bit of an angle. The kick won't make the accuracy nor the distance. Stays in, gone. Gets a kick out of there, but could fall on a Port Adelaide play here. Or oh, the bounce, though. It can be evil sometimes. Tapped out from McEntee, and the ball will find the boundary. <clears throat> Go again. Okay, well, they're just checking here to see if they actually went over the line. It's for a view that Sifa went over. Oh. Can't see because the post's in the way. Oh, yeah, no, there we go. We can actually see it, sorry. Dixon keeps it in. Now back to the boundary throwing like it was originally. Tight game, yes, it definitely is, Andy. Well, better throw it. Early into this third term. Port, another chance outside their 50. Max Gorn gets the hit out. Wines, very well done. Gets the first possession out into space. He's going to have to make Bergman work for this one. Good tackle there from Bergman on Langdon. Ball up it is. Rosie now, little hack kick. Wines slaps out in the space for McEntee. Wines gets it back. He's starting to rack up the footy. Taking in the tackle. Umpire's ball it is. Dixon now. Salem tackled instantly by Drew. Another umpire's ball. Seven goals, three apiece. Nine tackles inside 50 to three. Port Adelaide's way. Gorn gets the hit out. Oh, good pressure there from Butters and also Drew on Neil Bullen. Another ball up. That's all it is at the moment. No one can break free of this congestion. Yeah, that was nice there from Gorn and falls in Rivers' lap, slapped towards the wing. And the ball will go out for another boundary throw, another stoppage. Who can break free in this third turn? Usually the third quarter can provide a lot of goals and a bit of a, a bit of a momentum swing for a particular team as well. Viney is able to get the clearance forward inside or to the edge of 50, I should say. Radical air ground level. Nice pick up and nice hand pass out to his mate of Butters. Doesn't know where to go, so he hand passes back to Radical air. That's holding free. Downfield, though. And Butters will get it back. Nice vision. Finds Burton. Back to Butters. And he can play on quickly now. Short to Wines. Probably a bit too fast. Wines wasn't expecting that one. And off the turnover. Melbourne can go quickly. Pick it. Goes back to Oliver. Snap kick around the kiln is a nice short one. Rivers, not 15 there for Viney. Oh, he's got to watch out. Just gets the hands out. Now off the turnover, Port can go here. Butters, quick by foot, a nice one. Uh, Toddy Marshall now towards the pocket. Chance for Rioli at the back. Very nicely done. He plays on. He's going to run through the goals. And the pair kicked their eighth. 
Beautiful stuff off the turnover there from Port. It all started with Rosie's great tackle and Willie Rioli at the back there with a nice goal. Former Eagles says, Lockie, yeah, bloody hell. And uh, want to return home. Oh, oh pair kick the first. Could this be a turning point? Back in the middle we go. Van Royen doing his time the ruck easy hit out there for Soldo, but not to a teammate as Viney gets another clearance to his stat sheet out in the space here for Jack Billings, but the ball bent to the ball does not favour him at all. Yeah, we throw in. Oh, it's the deck here. Nice hand pass again from Wines. He's been busy in and under. Doesn't know where to go. Connor, so then he goes by a foot towards the next contest. How with the spool. Ball trickles out. He's got to be important quick here. McDonald, but socket forward from Dixon. One on one here between Marshall and Lever. Lever, very well done. Great body work. But that's a throw. They've paid it as a throw. Marshall now. Wants to go inside 50 here. Dixon in a good spot. Good spoil there from Trent Rivers. So six-point game, 14 minutes to play. Hell's dispossessed. Good pressure here from Port. Oh, that's high. Bloody hell, Marty. All just gone, gone whack down Willy Rioli. Yeah, nasty stuff there. Willy Rioli now. Could he kick a beauty from the boundary here? To potentially put the pair up by 12 points. Kick, does it come back? It won't. And goes through for a point. So handy point for the pair. It's now seven, the margin. Yeah, hopefully going well, Pilsy. Welcome back. Okay, so Trent Rose now runs in from the kick-in. And we'll whack it long down the line towards the next contest. Good spoil there from Radaglia. He's having a pretty decent game. Apart from the blunder he had, I think he's been quite good. Melbourne scoreless so far in this third quarter. Seven inside fifties to zero. Port Adelaide's way. Well, there you go. That's the reason why. They are scoreless. Boak now. Kick smothered. And now whacked forward from Lockie Jones. Dixon. Oh, great hands. Hands like a vice, as Dwayne Russell would say. Sensationally done. Good there against Tom McDonald. Sort of marked it from the side as well. Beautifully done. Lockie Jones gets it out of there. Gets the... Clearance and beautiful. Beautifully done there from Charlie. And now to make it a 13-point game if he can kick truly. And oh, hits the woodwork. Unlucky there. Didn't swing back. Salem now will play on from the kick-in. He's got 
Van Rooyen, I think that is all alone. Now Roost sit down the line. Kick isn't great though for Fritsch, but he's able to read the drop zone better than Farrell. Take a nice mark. And now he'll peel off and play on. Kick towards the direction of Brown. Oh, Radigalea, what a spoil. Really starting to lift to Sava. Sensationally done. There's a bit of a fumble. And Petrarca tackles Solda. We'll go again. Kick is smothered. Butters quickly in the air. Hand pass for Houston. A little bit of a fumble there. And a boundary throw in again. Another stoppage. Not really a free-flowing game, this one. 76% time at Fort Arthur for Port Adelaide, but haven't been able to put it on the scoreboard. They're only up by seven points after being um, after being all square at the half. Anyway, it's a free here, uh, Connor Rosie's way. Fifteenth touch for him. As he goes down the line, Gorn in a good spot to take the intercept, smacks it down to ground level. Nice there from Finlayson. Breaks free for Tuck on. He can go deep here to a one on one. Oh, spoil again from Lever. Very well done. Howells out to Lever and out to Salem. Short kick. Sparrow to Billings. Billings to Chandler. And they can. Oh, geez, kick's not a good one. Does not hit Chandler there. Good question, Mane, mate. Oh, I'll stick with my Port Adelaide tip for Melbourne in this game. Hopefully not too drunk, by the way, Cammies, mate. <laughs> okay, Jackson Mead fumbles. Good tackle, though. Recovers nicely. Both of our defences are having a bar of any goals. Not too sure what you mean by that. Gorn now. Hit out. Broke involved again with the tackle. Petrarca did well to offload it. And now towards half forward, the D's go. Good push out there from Aaliyah Lee. Did it legally. Ben Brown tries and taps it in his favour. But Radical Air again, very well done. Oh, Boz ball again. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, cameras, mate. Spin move there. Nice from Neil Bullen. Hand pass, though. Not to a teammate. But ball in dispute is Salem able to win it. Houston, good pressure. Butters unable to pick the half volley. And he's instantly tackled by Chandler. This one hot in the kitchen. Soccer out of midair there from Salem. Towards the pocket. Van Rooyen, can he keep it in? He can't. 10.02 to play until three-quarter time. Gorn hit out. Drew, though, able to get it forward. That's a poor kick, though. Easily picked up and chopped off there by Neil Bullen now. Does he have the distance here to go bang? Yeah, hopefully going well on count, mate. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Neil Bullen. 15 touches, 3 marks, 5 contest possessions, 267 metres gained. I'll take a mighty kick here. He plays on. Gains the distance. Does it sneak home? I think it does. Great kick. How about that? Back to a point it is. That's Melbourne's first score of the second half, I think. Sure is. Two-point game, I should say. Ben Ryan seems quite so far this year, says Andrew. Yeah, he does a bit. He uh, hasn't really been able to take the game by the scruff of its... Take his matches by the scruff of its neck. It's been more Fritsch that's been involved with the goals. Uh, but Neil Bullen, great stuff there. 
in front of the big sticks. 9.25 to play. Eight goals, five, 53. Eight goals, three, 51. Port up by two points. First score of the second half for Melbourne. Solo did well, gets the clearance. Towards half forward, Zach Butters. Can he do something up the ground? One on Lever, Howells back to Hall. That's not a good kick though. Intercept there for Boak. Touched off the boot, I think it was. Okay, bound to come and it is instead. <clears throat> bound to throw in here. Gorn, head out only as far as Butters. Ollie Wines now. Who can he find inside 50? Lever, though, easily got to mop that one up. And who's he got in the outlet? Oh, geez, that kick's risky. Billings drops the mark. Can he keep his feet? He gets the hand pass out. Falls in favour of Windsor, but he's easily pushed out of that play. Bergman goes head in. And tandem of tackles there. We go again. Yeah, welcome back, AFL legend. 8.37 to play. Ball just outside Port Adelaide's 50 here. Gorn couldn't hit it out. Houston now back to a team, mate. Who was it? Two, though. High ball there from, I think that was Marshall. Centers it up. Spalls came through. Good explosion of some burst there from Rivers and Chandler now. Can they break free of this Port Adelaide wave of pressure? They can't. As Drew, again, he's been applying his heat well tonight. Nice tackle on Viney. 16 tackles to eight. Port Adelaide's way. In the third term, and 41 to 34. Also in their favour, Wines. Nice hands. Houston, he can have a pop. Dan Houston. Oh, almost. Would have been a lovely goal to extend their lead. Snicks in for a point instead. And now McVee out of the defence here for the D's. Bergman always usually sometimes good in the air. Unable to take the mark there, though. Windsor in board. Ooh, fumble there from Rivers. Got to watch out. Just gets the hands out. Nice vision there to Windsor. He's under the pump. Hands weren't great to Billings. Who can win this one? Dan Houston. He fumbles. Is he pinned? Yes, he is. Nice stuff there from Neil Bullen. I want to go quickly by hands here, Melbourne. Inside 50 here. Oh, Radical right, a sensational grab. Having a great game. It's actually free to Alir. Yeah, they're always good games, I'd say, Cummers. That's a poor kick from Alea. Easy stuff there for Marty Hall. He goes inside 50. That's a good looking kick for Chandler. Oh, just in time. One up from Lockie Jones. But yeah, just a good matchup. Um, cameras, mate. Gorn in now. Soldo to do battles in the ruck. Soldo gets it out. Fumbling ball. Who can win it? Butters on his knees. Boke now by foot. Having a good game. And it's 351st. Rioli now. Can he break free? Jug McVie applies good pressure. Ball would be one here at half forward. McVie under it. McDonald. Nice fake out. He goes back to Hawk. And wants to go by foot down the line. Doesn't want to go corridor. Spall came from Wines. And that's going to be a mark. Oh, what a mark. That's an absolute classic. You take the spore, hits the air, but you can still grab possession to take the mark. Ali Fritsch.
Getting a bit of fights. His wine's now. We'll pump it deep towards the edge of 50. Ball hits the deck. The ball was in dispute, but Melbourne able to win it out. Short kick from Langdon finds Petrarca. Six minutes to play. Looks like he's a bit sore. And just wants to pump it long. We have the numbers here put out but Van Roy, GZ got up there almost. He brings it to ground. Now Neil Bullen, he's having a good quarter. Corridor kick could be on here. Good mark, Sparrow. Jeez, I don't want to see track. A bit tender there. Low kick inside 50. Can they hit the lead? Van Roy drops it. Chance no. Neil Bullen off the scraps. The snap kick. And up off hands. In goes for a point. Two-point game. Really close this one. Yeah, I like that. Alir on the line as, as always, of course, unfortunately. A <laughs> high for legend, mate. Good mark there, Finlayson. And corridor kick could be on here. Gorn can't uh, intervene as Soldo takes a nice mark. Options inside 50. Oh, almost a smother, but the kick could be good enough. It was a touch ball. How about that? Dixon now. Oh, that's got to be ball. Nothing given. Gorn now. And good spore there from Finlayson. Oh, temper's starting to flare now. Four fifty four to play till three quarter time. Gorn gets front position. Rosie now sockers it forward in towards the pocket. Dixon. Or was that a hold? Nothing given from the umpy. Hoar oh, at ground level. Dispossess winds a quick kick. He says. A goal seven fifty five. Eight goals four fifty two. As now Rivers, he's getting plenty of it. Will elect to go long down the line, but that's not a great kick. Burton should be under this one. Billings did well to intervene. Some quick hands potentially here for Port Rosie. Out to Houston. Now he has time here. He's going to go towards the goal square. That looks like a sensational kick for Ivan Soto. He's dropped it, but it's going to be a front on contact free his way. And they should go off it. Um, oh, it's too early to tell, to be honest, for a legend. I think Port, I think Sydney, I think GWS, Freo, Carlton, Geelong even. Chop of the arms there against Lever. Well, chance for Soldo to extend this game out to nine points. Can he kick truly? This will be an important goal and kicks it home. Soldo really proven his worth this game. I think he's having a really good crack against Gorn. Three thirty-six to play. Bit of thinking to do for that man, Solomon Goodwin. Seven point no, no, sorry, nine point margin. Scum could end up to sign the top four. Oh, it's only round three, to be honest, though, for a legend. But no, it does set the pace and and does um, you know, I think especially for Port, they moved to three and zero. Whilst the D's fall to two and two. Crows any chance? Versus the D's, uh, Adelaide Oval could possibly. Um, well, let's see how this game plays out, I'd say. Or is he? It's going to be a high tackle advantage now. Inside 50, great low kick, Toddy Marshall. Now they're starting to get going here, the pair. So it was a free kick, I think, on uh, Connor Rosie, and they were able to get it forward. Through again, Willem Drew. I mean, he's having a great game. Low kick. Picks out the target. Beautiful football. How's it going, Eric? Well, Eric, mate. Oh, jeez. I appreciate the kind words, Eric, mate. I mean, yeah, you know. Could always 
be happy with more viewer stuff, mate. But the important thing is, no matter how many are watching, I always just enjoy watching the footy and commentating and chatting with the chat, if there's anyone in here. But there is, of course, plenty. And Tony Marshall, goals. Great kick in game 100. Or 150, whatever it is. It's a milestone game, I know that. 10 goals, 767. 8 goals, 452. Port, a few goals in a row now. 15 points it is. Always turn up for mountain quarters and even halves, never games. You know, that's the Kenny Hinckley effect, I think, comes, mate. Oh, I tell you what, earlier today I actually brought it up again when Ken Hinckley was celebrating on the bench when Port won the, this matchup last year. He was doing the... <laughs> oh, so funny. And he was doing it sort of like right in front of the Melbourne bench as well because they're right near them. Oh, you got to love it. Who can win this one? Oh, massive soccer there. Inside 50 from me. Ball hits the deck. What a contest that was. Who can win this one? Salem instantly tackled. Pressure starting to lift here for Port. Willem Drew pick up. Boak. Jace Burgoyne the sub. Can he do something here? He gives it back. Connor Rosie. Twisting. Turning. Who's he going to find? Doesn't know where to go. Snap kick now. Don't tell me. Oh. Jeez, that would have been special. Goes for a minor score. And now we are out to a 16 point margin. Nearly to Gully or Bailey. Yeah, it sort of was. Special goal, though. Zaki Bailey. Twisting, turning, snap kick around the corner. That was a goal, especially for Brisbane. You know, when he kicked that goal, I'm like, okay, Brisbane, they're, turn they're turning up this grand final. Because obviously they conceded the first goal. I'm like, oh, God, hopefully this isn't a blowout as a neutral supporter. Not another crappy grand final. What, what, what a game it was in the end. Anyway, down the line here from Clary. Ball hits the deck. That's nice there from uh, Van Royen. Falls in Neil Bullen's lap. He gives it out across to Langdon. Nice kick here for Benny Brown. So just the one goal for the Demons this term. 90 seconds to play. One goal, one is all they've had to show for on this term. And Benny Brown wants to go back. It's not about a domination. Uh, it's about turning out full cause. Just doing a good job. Yeah, exactly. It's about the, it's about the process, not the outcome. Oh, so the outcome, outcome counts, but, you know. Oh, jeez, look at this. The Port fans. Oh, Christ, that guy doesn't have a hand. Must have lost it in the mines. Benny Brown now. Kicks on its way. Oh, I tell you what, I think he has the distance on that one. He does. What a kick from Ben Brown. Well, that's one against the grain that they desperately needed there. Ten points it is. Put a few poor fans back in their place. Yeah, they were certainly giving it to them. And I'll tell you what, Ben Brown, one of the nicer blokes in footy, of course. Um, does some nice things off the field. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, uh, I've seen stuff in the past. Don't quote me on it. Will be a good quarter. D's not giving up. Yeah, hopefully Aussie Trump. Um, yeah. Hopefully it's a bit of a repeat from last year's game. Ten goals, eight, nine goals, four. Benny Brown's got two. He's he's been looking good with the set shots. I think he's only had the two, and he's converted both his chances. Yeah, he was good at the Kangas. Oh yeah, that was good there from Gorn on the line. Didn't allow um, anyone to be pushed over there. Okay, forty-six seconds. Could he maybe see another chance here late, back in the middle? But is Drew Wines, Clary, Viney. And Sparrow in the middle. Nothing given there for a holding free. Drew's just been terrific tonight with his pressure. Butters, that's a throw. Great pressure there from Salem. Yeah, I did see that, uh, Aussie, mate. It looks like there's nothing actually wrong. But I think it was really well done from our club to just say, okay, Wixie, obviously tempers have flared a bit. You just take the week off. Take your time you need. You know, not playing in the side because bad relationships um, can equal bad performance on the field. 
Like from what we've heard about this Brisbane Las Vegas stuff. Bloody hell, what's going on with that? Oh, Maxi Gorn's going to get a shot after the siren against Finn Lason. Oh, could Gorn go bang here? I tell you what, this is just a massive flip of the coin. You just don't know what to expect from Gorn. But he usually likes to peel off and sort of play on with his set shot, so he can't do it here because it's going to be after the siren. So we'll see. Maxi Gorn. 11 touches, 36 hitouts. He has been all over it. Competing well with Solo, though. I mean, I've liked Solo's game. But here we go, Maxi Gorn. Oh, what's this angle? I want to see the reverse angle. I can't tell if it's gone through or not. Let's see. Certainly has the distance. Oh, right over the goal on Pies Hut. Here we go. Four point margin for the final quarter coming up. Ten goals four, ten goals eight. Got a game on here. Hard to split this one. Felt like Port had the chocolates in the third term, but look at that. Two late goals. They kill you for, te for teams, I'll tell you what. You know, those red time goals can kill you. Um, as a Swan supporter, I know plenty of that. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Now, nah, good stuff there. Four point margin. Game's really on a knife's edge now. That bloke's got, not got, not, got no hand, must have lost in the mines. I don't know why I said the mines, because, um, yeah, no, I, I know a person from South Australia who works in the mines, so that's just the first thing I said. And, you know, it's a dangerous job. Well, actually, is the mines a dangerous job? I mean, obviously, you work around machinery, but it's a lot, like, machine stuff. I don't know, maybe lost it, farming or something, I don't know. You just, you know, you, you'd expect someone that loses their hand does it probably through work or something or out on a farm or something involving machinery. Or it could be a smoker. Who knows? Cancer and all that. Can lose a few limbs. Yeah, enough about that that guy. <laughs> Bloody hell, I don't know why we're still talking about him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, good good quarter of footy. So in the end it was a three goal five to three goal one term. So Port narrowly winning it, but conceding two late goals, Kenny Hinckley won't be happy in the three-quarter time sheds. Ben Brown and Maxi Gorn going bang. Helps the fantasy and super coach with Max Gorn, so I'll take it. You beauty. 11 intercept possessions for Jake Lever. He's having a great game. Same with Radigalia. I think Radigalia's a Thatcher and Alia is working, working really well. Um, they're just improving throughout the game. But this it feels like they're just keeping Melbourne in it with these chances. 12 contested possessions for Ollie Wines. I think he's been really good around the footy. Um, he's leading all the contested possession getters. Uh, score involvements, 8 for Connor Rosie. Had a much better third quarter after a bit of a quiet first half. 8 inside 50s for Will Willem Drew. 6 for Ollie Wines. 5 for Dan Houston. Loving Houston's game. He's having some nice, nice uh, kicks and disposals and obviously kicked that goal too. Uh, Ollie Wines, Rivers, and Neil Bullen and Boak leading the disposal getters on the ground with 20. Clarence Leader is also Wines and Drew with 7. Intercept possessions, 8 for Jake Lever. We already went over him. Senate Clarence Leader. Willem Drew, Soldo, and Viney with 3. See, I think Soldo's ability to get it out of the ruck and get it forward has been really good. Um, yeah. Tip port by force is for Legend. Yeah, I had them by 7, so... Could really go either way. Oh no, no, I, I wasn't. I didn't think of it in that way at all, Eric. Um, I'm not trying to say let, let's you know get that out of the back of our minds, but you know, it's just I was talking about it. Kept on going on for quite a bit, but uh, it's, it's totally fine, mate. Not your fault. Not your fault at all. Um, let's have a look at the team stats, shall we? So. Yeah, plus 18 inside 50 support. So I think really throughout the whole game they've been able to control territory really well. It's just demons just getting their chances. And Melbourne were actually one of the top inside 50 sides last year. So it's been a few games now they've lost that count. So how are they going in the final quarter with that deficit? 41 to 26 clearances, 111 to 99 contest possessions. Just really, I think, efficiency. And I think Melbourne have been able to move it well when they've had the chances end to end. It's been key for them to get goals. 48 to 43 turnovers. Um, 12 to 8 uh, center clearances in favor of Port. 
11 to 5 marks inside 50, Port Adelaide's way. And 45 to 41 tackles also in Port's favour as well. But yeah, really could go either, either way here. Still think Port have probably been the better team, but they don't just... They're just keeping Melbourne in this one, it feels like. Oh, I've got to change it to three-quarter time. There we go. Could Brisbane go one in six with Melbourne drawing GWS? Uh, I'd expect them to probably pick up at least one of those wins. Like, they haven't been... They've been ordinary, but I don't think they've been bottom four, bottom six bad. Like, they're still a team with talent. As I said again, like, they've, they're lost, they've had losses where they've won the inside 50 count. And, you know, the more inside 50s they have, usually you're winning the territory battle. Like, that's such a key thing in footy. So, you want to look at the positives, um, I think, with really any team on how will they go the next few weeks. Because if you just write a team off, like, usually it doesn't end well. They're just going on and win maybe the next few games. But, yeah, they've looked... Just men mentally, they've looked really off. They haven't dug deep. When the game's falling out of their favour, they don't do it. They just don't respond. And yeah, inside 50, they're having connection issues like Hipwood and Dunaher, not only on Thursday, but also uh, against Carlton were really, really scrappy as well and, all, and quite poor, to be honest. So they're not getting service from their tools as well. So, you know, they did pick up a few key forwards in the, um, in the, in the draft. I know they got rid of... Um, Tom Fullerton, but they, I know they drafted like Logan Morris, saying Zakatelski, the utility. So, yeah, I think when you look at it in a five year, sort of in five years' time, sort of perspective for Brisbane, you know, a few of those important players are starting to age a bit. So, you know, who's the youth to really carry Brisbane? Obviously, they'll get the Ashcroft brothers, but forward of centre, you know, you're looking at like Morris and Zakatelski potentially. Anyway, fourth term. Here we go. Who gets on top here? It's been Port for pretty much most of the night, it feels. And in the first clearance is going to come Port's way. Connor Rosie. He goes deep into the centre. Oh, is that a hold? No, nah, it's going to be a free on Howes. Oh, ho, ho, unlucky. Blake Howes. Go on. Easy pickings for him. Well, cameras, mate, you're going to get pretty vocal in the chat you, this quarter, you'd think. And don't worry, no restrictions on the chat. Just just don't spam or anything. <laughs> anyway, out in the full. So go for your life, cameras, mate. Anyway, so, yeah, free on the goal square there. Oh, bloody hell's radical air done. He's just fallen over and out and out. Numbered contest. Easy stuff, Ben Brown. Once a length of quarter four, uh, it's a twenty. It goes. It's twenty minutes. Um, and Eve, mate. It's a twenty minutes countdown. But when the ball, you know, when there stops stoppages in play, when the, when the play stops, the the countdown stops. That's a poor turnover. Now off the uh, off the intercept. Here come Port Marshall. Pills off. Kick towards really Rolly. Haul back with a flight. Can't get a spool in. Howls. Nice slap there. Oh, geez, that's high. Copped a nasty one there, Chandler. Oh, really, Rioli. Not happy. Chandler out across to Marty Hall. Eight touches for him. Throw through. No, says James. Oh, mate. Definitely up and about if you're a free supporter. Just ticking those wins over. And I was... Like, I was bullish on them heading into this year, but I wasn't bullish enough to, to push them into the eight. I had a high... I think I had them, like, 13th, but... You know, if you want to do the compare game to others, a lot of people are them in the bottom four, and I felt the only way was up for Freo, but bloody hell. You know, the bold ones I did aren't paying off for the moment. Adelaide in the four, but I have Geelong in the eight. And to be honest, they probably could finish higher than eighth. Petrarca, a bit of a whack kick, slapped. A beauty from Chandler. Chance for Melbourne, hit the front through Neil Bullen. Oh, sneaks home. Demons hit the front. In the fourth quarter early on, the first of the final term. Two points, they're up by now. There we go. Very well done. Neil Bullen's having a fantastic game, must be said. I think just his pressure and his work rate's been second to none. He's been helping out in transition. 
And he deserves his first goal of the game for sure. Or his second. Yes, his second. Honestly, one of the best on ground. Like, you know, Petrarca and Viney and Oliver have been good throughout lapses, but it's just these role plays really getting it done. And look at that. He just swings back. It looks like it was going for a point. And then, you know, turn of the footy. Important major there, potentially, for the Demons. Right, Aguilera. See, we saw that with the cut with uh, when they were going down the line, Melbourne. Radigalea sort of tripped over. There's what's this sauce? They've got sauce bottles for for a bit of a uh, for a bit of the rubbing cream. That's pretty. That's a pretty uh, pretty creative. Anyway, nice strong mark there from Oliver. Demons by two points. Another inside 50 coming up. Could they maybe kick a few in a row here? Chance inside 50. Oh, almost a leaper there of Petty, who has been swung forward. Piggott just crushes through a contest. Umpire's ball. Gorn with a hit out. Willem Drew. Yeah, nice tackle there from Gorn and Pickett. Umpire's ball. We, we have, we've been experiencing this a lot in these games. Just all these, uh, you know, it, it just seems to go in, in patches. Like there again, just stoppage, 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 ball up, bam, we throw ball up, and then it breaks free. Screw off, you drop the ball for reals. I didn't have pride, to be fair. Must must be said. Bam, we throw again. Who wins this jump? Pick it, very nice roving. Good smother there from Houston. Ball in dispute here, but Rivers able to mop up. That kick works. It was touched. Pick it could go bang. He has a wobbly kick, but works nicely for Brown. Can he has the angle to kick? That's got to be holding the ball. Nothing given. That was a incorrect disposal. Melbourne's still in possession, but ball just floating around. Who can win this one? Chandler, maybe. Petrarca's always clean in these areas. Picks it up. Can he get a disposal out? He can. Chance for Spur off the snap. Oh, great goal from Tom Sparrow. How about that? Something out of nothing. And that man again, Christian Petrarca. You can't tackle him. You just can't. That was sensationally done from the start. Gives it out to his teammate, of Sparrow, who's been quiet tonight. But there we go. A big goal for him. And it's a two-in-a-row surge here from the Demons in this fourth term. But I, I had to say, that probably should have been holding the ball there against... Um, and it's Ben Brown. It felt like he, he was spun around in the spin cycle a bit and dropped the ball. Big stuff there for Melbourne, though. Just who was going to win it? Petrarca picks it up. Quick little hands, like just a little tap and sparrow. Look at that. Something out of nothing. Sneaks home on the wrong side of the post. Ah, oh, Cardi, mate. Mate. This is a safe. This is a safe place. I'm sorry, mate. Bloody hell, that was an all-time shocker from the Saints. I mean, led by Riley Bonner with 17 turnovers. I saw on Twitter. What in the world? Just lost. It's weird. They just. It felt like the Saints ran out of gas. But then again, they were just. They lost all composure inside their forward 50 late chance. Billings. Oh, almost. Just didn't get purchase on it. What well I'm from on the on the line there from. Ali Ali. It's a nine point margin now. But yeah, it must be said though, I thought um, Essendon's fight was good and I felt that would be key for them to maybe get the win, but again, go with the favourite and punished. <laughs> Bloody hell. Can't get these tips right at the moment. Out of form. Farrell now down the line. Dixon in the air. Good contest. Brown brings it to ground. Ali under this one. Who can win it? Ben Brown, not a good hand pass. Gives it over. Um, oh, Rosie runs over it. And Ben Brown under this one will carry it over. Oh, I thought that could have been delivered, to be fair. Only pause about Bonner's fence. Yeah, no, it's, it is right. It did go off. I did see that. Very nice. Um, but yeah, no, I thought Essen really got on top around the footy in that second half too. Boke under this one. Willem Drew. Instantly tackled by Viney. Good tackle there. And also Van Royen applying the heat. Yeah, they say they can get close sometimes, AFL legend. 
No, but hopefully the vlog turns turns out well for you, Cardi. But yeah, bloody hell, mate. That, that's that's a rough loss. I mean, I don't. I mean, last year, for example, last year as a Swan supporter, the amount of games I experienced of that just fading out and losing. Oh, bloody hell, disgusting. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, they they really should have won with their chances. Though the Saints, they're wasteful. Should have been up by a lot more at quarter and half time, and yeah. But I mean, as I, at the same time, I don't think the Saints are an easy push. I mean, the the, the Dons are an easy push over this year. Like, you know, their efforts second to none. Bring out the game well, Viney. Quick soccer in the air. Good mark there. Back of the flight with Burton. Just paid. Fact that Essendon makes it such yeah fair enough mate that's totally under, understandable. I mean my old man's not a fan of him either. Now Kane Farrell gonna be downfield now. Willem Drew chance for Port lowers the eyes. Charlie Dixon he's been good in the air tonight. Yeah definitely Aussie Trump fan. But yeah no, it, it does suck losing to a role like that Cardi for sure. Um, I'm going to cop absolute crap of preseason game. Yeah, that's interesting now. So the Saints demolished uh, the the Dons in the preseason hit out, and how the tables turn. And yeah, I, it has to be said that stringer moment. I knew he was going to kick that. As a Swan supporter, the amount of times we get stringed, as Dixon misses, wasted chance there for the pair. Oh bloody hell! It sinks your heart because stringer always arrives at the right time. on 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 the air billings nicely done as Hoare goes down the line not a good kick though should have been marked again that's about four times now from from uh, jonesy dropping that gotta mark those footballs uh dixon your silly billy yeah just had to convert there missed a few 14 minutes to play still plenty of time here it's an eight point game who can win this out of the stoppage marty hall under this one Oh, jeez, look at that body work. Very well done. Keeps his feet as Trent Rivers, the sand groper, out to the wing. Chandler's having a great game tonight. I think Chandler, Neil Bullen, the outside players are doing well. And it feels weird. It feels like it's a really inside game. Benny Brown, good mark on the lead. Yeah, he is. He definitely is AFL legend. Like he, obviously, he had a down year last year, but he still has the X factor. And if he re-signs, he's going to be demanding coin, especially off oh, Fritch almost, especially if he has a good year. Billings now, he gives it out. Chance here for Windsor. Could he kick his first goal this system? It's a deep kick, it could be home. Oh, I tell you what, I think that snuck home. Is it touched? No. The first goal for Carla Windsor. He's on the board in his AFL career. How about that? Well, two plays on the line there. And no one can get it. Get it out. No one can intervene. And uh, bloody hell. No Stephen May. They're looking good here, the D's. 14 points. Port still in this one, but probably need the next here. Still 13 minutes. Important to start winning out of the middle here. 13.99, uh, Razzie, mate. Going out of the ruck, really nicely done. It's a high ball. Could work here to a team, mate. Not 15. Chase Burgoyne, that's a nice tackle. Compose ball. Worry, only worry once we lose this, I fear we're losing the next two or three. Yeah, it'd be a good one to tick off. Uh, but they're under the pump here, of course, Port. I mean, look at the next five. They've got Essendon. I think that's going to be a... No, obviously not a lay. And yeah, Freo, I think that's a way too. Free to Port here. Zerk Thatcher's three. Zerk Thatcher's free. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister, that one. Burton now. Amber receive. Low flat kick. Nice one, Ollie Wines. Who's he going to find inside 50? I think his individual game has been good. High ball. Who's the flies? Maybe Dixon. Oh, drops the mark. Could work at the back here. Maybe Finlayson. Oh, Marshall can't be fumbling there. Soccer. 
Oh, almost there. From really really hits the woodwork. We've seen plenty of posters tonight. There we go. Ten goals, ten. Can't believe I tipped the T's 12th. Yeah, similar to me, mate. I had the Demons 12th as well. And Crow's 4th. Um, again, as I said earlier in the stream, like, I could definitely see Crow's downside. It's a risky tip. But I was just so invested in their upside with the improvements potentially. But they're not bringing their strengths to the table. Like, they've kicked four goals 10 against the Dockers. They were the most efficient forward line last year. They were the best scoring team in the comp. And now they can't do stuff for, stuff for crap at the moment. Jeez, Sparrow's copped a nasty falcon there. Bloody hell, right into the face from the wine's kick. Let's see it again. Douche. Nasty one. They can win this tap. Wine's very strong in the air there. Gives the hands to Soldo. He'll just whack it forward. Who's up here? Maybe Rioli at the back. Drops the mark. Finlayson, Sockers and Golds. Much needed there. Right in front of the port. Faithful. It's back to seven. Oh, this game just has so many turning points. Don't know why it's settled like that. Trying to get a bit enthusiastic. Come on. 11 goals, 10. 13 goals, 5. Finlayson kicks his... Kicks his first. He's been quiet tonight. Just the 10 touches, 2 marks. 3 hit outs. Chopping out the ruck a wee bit. Yeah, fair enough, Fire for Legend, mate. But if they don't win... It's the habit you never want to get into too much of changing your tips. I never like to do it. Oh, here we go. Back in the middle we are. We do go. It's a seven-point margin. The power chance. Starting to get up and about around the Adelaide Oval. Gorn hit out. Grabs out of the ruck. And ball up. Well done there from Soldo. Yeah, no. It's, it is... A good habit not to get into Cardi changing your tips. Houston pushing up to the stoppage. Can he get a disposal here? Great tackle. Neil Bullen's pressure's been fantastic tonight. Apart from the last week, went for a last minute, paid off. Yeah, thank goodness. I just can't. I, I just wouldn't be tipping north. Like, their defence is just a concern. Nice hands from Rosie to Butters. Oh, here we go. Just gets the hands out. Now, he's a big kick, Miles Bergman. He goes deep to the square. Chance for Finlayson, maybe. Oh, beautifully done there against Jake Lever. Sensational. The body work was great. 10.57 to go. And he's apparently missed. Um, as I always say, gents, um, try and refrain from giving stuff away a bit too early till I've react because KO, 30 seconds behind. Oh, what a terrible kick. Is that on the full? Nice. Okay, well, the handy point's removed. It's a six-point It's a six point game now. Still plenty of time. No, no, it's fine, guys. You know, head hey, hey of the battle, we, fair enough. Like, people will get, want to get vocal in the chat. Yeah, try not to. Would be nice if I had a telly in my room so I could actually watch on live live TV. Free to wear Houston now. Hands in board of wines. Can he get it out to Butters? Just couldn't. Butters fumbling now. And a whack kick forward from Zerk Thatcher. Hits the deck. Who can do it in the end of this one? Dixon. Quick hands to McEntee. Spins out of trouble. Ah, great tackle there. Beautifully done. Oh, reversal. Oh, dear. This is going to be a Connor Rosie free. Get in. Got him in fantasy. <laughs> oh, how good's this? He'll probably miss. Uh... Oh my god, so what a tackle from McDonald, but then Rivers goes bang with a dangerous tackle. Kick the goal, Rosie, you star. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh, what a terrible reversal there from Rivers. Okay. Connor Rosie. Oh, never in doubt. What a star. Ho <laughs> ho, we've got a game on here. I tell you what, I, I had a good feeling this is going to be a cracker.
Jeez, Jake Lever is not happy. Have a look at him. Bark instructions. Power feet. Power fans on their feet. Two games I don't have to stream are going to be thrillers. Yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, well, the Friday, thank God I didn't stream the Friday games because I knew they weren't going to be great. I, I, I just streamed the best matchup games three times a week, including the Swannies game. He can win out of the middle here. Petra oh, no, it's not Petrarca. Oliver wins out of the middle. All square, 83 all. It was all square at the half, too. Oh, almost in the air. Petty chance. Neil Pullen's been great. Zuck Butters! What a tackle. He's not going to be paid. Oh, unbelievable. That is holding the ball. Look, took two steps. Could have given the quick hands. Unbelievable. I'm not I'm not trying to cheer for Port, by the way, guys. But I'm just, I'm acting as a neutral. That's just got to be holding the ball. Who can win this one? Oliver. Salem. Whack forward from Rivers. They've got the territory here. Oh, ball hits the deck. Dangerous spot here for the Smalls. They've been busy tonight for the Ds. Why don't they ride a galea? Holds it in. I couldn't believe that was on the ball. <laughs> they've had two. They've had a few of those bought, to be fair. When identifies a neutral Petrarca. Out in the full. Oh, I had to get at least a score there. Oof. Sure kick Zach Butters. Game's starting to lift. Saki Butters in the back pocket. We'll go to Zerk Thatcher. Now Farrell, lovely kick of the football. He's going to have to really make Jace Burgle in the sub work here with a one-on-one. -on -one. Windsor, well done. Yeah, well done there from Burgoyne. That's huge as the substitutes. 8.41 to play. Got to go on here, gents. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It started it started slow, but this game just had so many momentum and score and lead changes, to be fair. Soto brings it to ground. Good attack there from Butters. Wines always clean. Out to Burgoyne. Spin moves nice. He gets it to Burton. Big kick he is. Inside 50 to a two on two. Who can take the mark? Almost Dixon. Who can win this one? Oliver. Wax it out of there. Towards the next contest. Max gone. Oh, massive mark from the side. Those are always important, those contested marks. And he wants to go down the spine. Could work here for Petrarca, but the kick was not good. Off the boot. Langdon reads the spool first. He fumbles, though. Gives it to Rivers. He has some time. Out in the space. Good football, Petrarca. Oh, with a one mitt. As easy as you like. He goes inside 50. Pumps it deep. They've got the numbers out the back here. Oh, Benny Brown, what a mark. Beautifully done. How many did they have at the back there? Great vision, though, from Max Gorn. And also Langdon, too. Just got sucked in there, Zerk Thatcher. And that was nice there, too, from uh, Fritsch. Sort of got that little block in to not allow Zerk Thatcher to jump for it. And now can Benny Brown. He's been good in front of of the goals tonight in front of the Melbourne faithful to get this back out towards a goal in the Demons' favour. He kicks right through the middle. Big goal there for Melbourne. Back out to a goal in their favour. 14 goals, 5. They've been accurate tonight. To 12 goals, 11.89. Well, thanks, Ryan, mate. Hopefully going well yourself. Got the game synced up to your stream. Max are watching. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. It's good to hear, Cardi. I'm assuming people do that as well because... Uh, you know, I got get people that come on that that, that appreciate the the commentary and stuff, and yeah, I mean that's what I recommend too. Is I've got to add a point to Port. Um, yeah, no. I think personally, yeah, if you sync up your game to the stream, like if you watch on K, yeah, feel free to sync it up. So Ben Brown just celebrating there. Oh. <laughs> Hang in there, OFL legend, mate. This game might have another couple of turns. 
706 to play. It still feels like there's a plenty of time as the game you'd think would lose its free-flowing ability and just turn into a scrap in these late moments. Back in the middle we go. Bounce wasn't great. Favours Port, though. Drew, quick hands to Butters. He'll want to whack this one. Gives hands to Rosie. Bang! He's copped in a strong Rivers tackle. Oh, he gets his revenge. Oh, oh I guess you could say revenge. Um, after giving away the free. Butters just had to go with the, for the kick there. Gorn hit out. Miss kicked by Oliver. Socket forward from Soldo. He'll get to this one first, McVee, and carry it over the line. Oh, Jesus. So a few few Port fans were giving a bit of lip there to, to Jug McVee, the poor young lad. Soldo and Gorn. Gorn hit out. Petrarca quick hands. He's been doing that well all night. Chandler gets the clearance. Only as far as a leave. Oh, he drops that one, though. That could be potentially as costly, costly as now. Whoa, well, Woden the sub. Oh, beautifully done. Oh, but drop there from Chandler. He went in the corridor option. Chandler just gets the hands out. Viney spins out of two tackles. Petty now. He goes back to Oliver. Look at this. Just carving through there, through there, through the port pressure here. Radical air. Well done. He gives the quick hands to Houston. Great user usually out across to Bergman. Do they want to go down the outer side here, the pair? Goes towards the wing. Good kick. Finds Willie Rowley working high up the ground. Six minutes to go. Deep kick now from Rioli. Towards the edge of 50. Dixon from this side. Just dropped, this, just dropped the mark. Couldn't take the second bite of the cherry. Now off the turnover. Melbourne, well done. Clean stuff. Woe Woden now. As he goes down towards the wing. Bit of an outnumber here. This will be easy pickings for Asava. Having a good game tonight, Asava Radicalia. Burton now quickly off the handball receive. Can Toddy fly for this one? Oh, Marty Hall, what a contest. Yeah, probably a bit reckless to be fair. I thought the contest was quite good. 5-11, the time is ticking for Port Adelaide here. You'd think they'd need the next hit to make this a classic. Short ball finds Boak. 24 for Boak. He's putting up good numbers tonight. Boak tries and measures it for Marshall, almost. Over the line it goes, boundary throwing. I appreciate Eric, mate. Need nine lead changes. Oh, is that your big call for the game? Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know how many there has been. I have to check the score worm after this game. See if you're right in the end. There could be another one. Who knows? Chandler, a high ball. Instantly pressured. Good contest there from uh, Wo Woden. Dispossessed, Clary, Boak. Oh, how well, about that? Unlucky uh, f uh, friendly fire. What a hand pass from Butters, though, but just doesn't fall in a Port Adelaide. Guernsey, Boak is just out cold, I think, at the moment. Radigalia taking in a strong Petrarca tackle, but breaks free. Burton now in mines, and he just whacks it long, and they're going to stop the game here. Oof. Come to the bench, he will. So is it going to be a ball up at half forward? 4.13 to play. No good there for Boak. Gorn and Soto been going at it all night. Oliver can he get first possession here? He can, but instantly tackled by Houston. That's what Houston likes to do. He likes to push up into the stoppages when the ball's at half forward for Port. Kenny Hinckley doing the classic, as he always does. The thinking's on. The thinking cup's on. Oh, maybe a chance here for a Port player. Wins up. Who can win this one? Oliver, as always, can. Slap forward from Houston. Only as far as... Uh, Windsor's having a really good game, I'd say. Viney, they get it out here, Melbourne. Kick down the line. Petty, great mark against Alir Alir. They've, they've looked really composed, uh, the Demons, I have to say. 
They haven't really panicked too much as Viney now goes in the corridor. Nice kick. Finds Wobodin. Got some good numbers here as he's come on now. Deep kick. Van Rooyen can fly. Oh, almost through the bread basket. That one was kicked out from Farrell. Big contest here between the Rucks. Gorn, sensationally done against Soldo. Whacked inside 50 there. Chance for Pickett. Hands to Van Rooyen. Back now to Windsor. Low kick, flat kick, beautiful to Bailey Fritch. And I tell you what, he could probably end the game here with the goal. Ooh, Bailey Fritch in the right hands. It has to be said here for the Ds. Bailey Fritch now. Can he win the game? It has to be said, I think, if he kicks this, it's it's game over. And the Demons take the chocolates. Kicks on its way. Sneaks home. What a goal from Bailey Fritch. And that could be all she wrote. It's a 12-point margin now in favour of Melbourne. Oof, big goal. 15 goals, 5 up. To tell you what, composure, efficiency has been key for Melbourne tonight in their game. Massive, massive major. Bailey Fritch, he's brought his shooting boots tonight as he has, I think, just the two goals. Yeah, but he kicked that lovely one off a step back in the first term, I think it was. Big goal there, and that's killed the hype in the port crowd. Such a great set shot. Bailey Fritch. Oh, when he gives it to the port fans. Huh. And so he should. Yeah, there's Kenny Hinckley with the... I always love that. <laughs> well, could they get a goal from a centre clearance maybe here, Port? They can win this one. Socket four from Soldo. He's been battling well tonight. Pick up from Bergman. Could have had a bit more time there to make the kick a wee bit better. Gorn's under this one. Rosie did well to bring it to ground. Fumbles. Oh, grand hand pass. Nothing there. There's inside 50 chance. Lever. Not paid. No, it is paid. Yeah, well done there. Lever's been fantastic tonight. Two minutes to go. I think the Demons are done here. This will be a fantastic win for them. They move to 3-1. And, and they're looking like a serious team this year. Van Rooyen. The car's gone up. That's an interesting card there for Port. Wonder what that means. Time to rev it, probably. Got to go. Yeah, fair enough, Cammers, mate. 90 seconds to go. Grand level, the ball to be won here. Drew, Drew's been good tonight, I'd say. Marty Hall. Oh, geez, how about that for a kick? Falls in more. Max, Maxi Gorn's his lap. So, I'll just want to play the slow game here and get out of Adelaide with the win, Melbourne. <clears throat> Oliver sits it up. Could they find a uh, mark here from the big Rue? He's able to collect it. And now Fritch. Surely not from there. Oh, hits the post. Oh, that hit the post easily. Yeah, you could see the ball deviate. Yeah, deviated there. Well, that now definitely kills Port Adelaide's bubble with a handy point. 13 points. Three goals in fear. Could, could still be time. Burton just wants to whack it long. Oh, geez, what in the world was that kick? Another big win there. Um, yeah, another big win there from uh, what's its face? Uh, Windsor. He's he's just been really good along the wing. Big. How about that hand press from Gordon? Oh my God! 
Luck forward uh, now from uh, Zerk Thatcher. Oh, it's going to be a free to Toddy Marshall. I thought it was a free for um for Petty. Looks like he was being held. Low kick, nice kick. That'll work for Finlayson. Well, it can get it back to seven points here, but time will run out as he goes. Salvage is a bit of percentage for Port Adelaide, I guess, if you want to think it for think of it as a glass half full of porridge. But Melbourne get the win in the end. Yeah, composure and efficiency, and I thought they, they worked so well as a defensive back six. And quite literally, I, I'll be brutally honest. The only reason I did not tip Melbourne because May, May was out. I thought it'd be a, a big out because Port's forward fifty is in good form. But they were too good tonight, the Demons. So, yeah, if, if May was in, I would have tipped Melbourne. So, yeah, didn't get the against the grain tip there. Just can't get any tips right at the moment. But great win for the Demons. Who gives a shit about my tips? Bloody hell. Get out of town, Riley. Bloody hell. I'll shut up. <laughs> well, back in the middle for six seconds. Good win for Melbourne. Move to 3-1. and one. I think both teams will be up there this year, though. Port's fight was good tonight, but... Yeah, bloody hell, I tell you what. The efficiency hurt them. They won the inside 50s, but Melbourne, too good. Does that count as a mark? Big win for the Ds, though. Massive win. Hard place to, of course, beat Port at home at Adelaide Oval. So it's a seven-point margin in the end in favour of Melbourne. Major ball winners wrote... Oh, never mind. The graphic just turns over. We'll have a look here. So no kick off the sign there for Dixon. <clears throat> Massive win for the Melbourne Football Club. Disposal good is Trent Rivers with 27. Rosie with 26 and a goal. Um, 25 for Ollie Wines. Thought he battled well tonight. Oliver was good as the game grew on. Um, Willem Drew, 25. Inno Bullen, 24. Both 24 clearances. 10 for Willem Drew. Really good guy. I liked Willem Drew's game tonight. I think he's really growing as an important player in their midfield. They've just got so much talent. But if we have a look in the end, have a look at this, though. Won the clearances 52 to 37. Plus 10 stoppage clearances. Plus 5 center clearances. Won the contest possession count. And the inside 50 is in the end. 66 to 45. Plus 21. So Melbourne, I just thought, you know, they kept their cool when moving the footy. Um, and this, it was, I think it was just ultimately their small. So Neil Bullen, 24 touches, 6 tackles. I want to say the pressure acts too. He was fantastic. 12 contested possessions as well. Um, you know, Oliver Viney and Petrarca were, were, were very sound, very good. But, you know, Chandler had some nice moments. Lever was massive in the air, I felt, um, within uh, Stephen May's absence. Um, you know, Marty Hall was decent too. And the second half, Salem got into the game a bit more. Um, who else is there? Um, I mean, obviously, Max Gorn was was brilliant. Um, you know, Soldo battled well, but Gorn just around the ground, taking marks, getting disposals. You know, pushing out opponents, winning those 50-50s, massive stuff for the Melbourne Football Club. But yeah, Port Adelaide, they left that on the table, to be honest, plus 21 inside 50s against Melbourne. You know, that, that's that's massive numbers. So, yeah, they'll they'll lick their wounds, Port. That's a disappointing win from their point of view. Losing at home at uh, Melbourne. Classy, classy. And just such an experience and seasoned side with just so many of those star players contributing well tonight. Role players really got it done too for the, for the Melbourne Football Club, of course. Um... Yeah, pretty much does it, everybody. Um, as for Port Adelaide, Willem Drew talked about Soda, we talked about Rosie, ended up um, with 26 touches. Butters, slow start, but got into the game, I felt. Um, really rolly, 55. Marshall, 67 in terms of... Super, oh, I'm reading that. Um, Houston with 18 touches. He, I thought he went pretty nicely by foot. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much does it. So, yeah, Melbourne too good for your Saturday night. Great game, though. A lot of lead changes. It was fun. Uh, but, yeah, of course, if you're Port supporter, you'd be disappointed in that with uh, winning that territory battle but not winning the game. Melbourne too good. 
Uh, so yeah, Melbourne stay in Adelaide this week because I've got uh, the Crows at another oval for gather round next week. So they'll stay in South Australia. Um, but yeah, too good for the Melbourne Football Club. So cheers for tuning in, everybody. Appreciate the support. Fun stream tonight, of course, as well. Um, and yeah, really, really uh, got going. I thought, yeah, just really scrappy early on, but... Yeah, just really two, just two good quality teams, I think. Um, so they're going to be up there this year, Port and Melbourne, I think, for sure. So just tuning in, everybody. Uh, going to be streaming, of course, tomorrow. Swanee's in Richmond at 4 o'clock. Oh, God. I still feel like we'll probably stink it up. <laughs> Hopefully we don't. So stay tuned for tomorrow if you want to come by and say hi. Appreciate it, everybody. Uh, have a good rest of your Saturday nights. Catch you later.